Hey guys, Trash here, and I've survived 1,000 days of hardcore Minecraft. And after hundreds of hours of recording and editing, I have combined every single episode into a full-length movie for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it, and I hope y'all enjoy the video. Okay, I'm gonna let this load in so you guys can experience this with me. Look at those mountains! I did find this seed on chunk base by rolling random seeds because I knew I wanted a cherry biome near spawn for sure and then also some good terrain. I don't like just spawning in a huge plains biome, that's so boring to me, but I haven't spoiled anything for myself other than the immediate biome so I'm super excited to explore. Alright, let's get right into it and start punching this new pink tree. Let's get our crafting table made and our first wooden pick and then let's immediately go find some stone. And there's some right here in this little surface cave, so let's grab that. Let's get our axe and our pickaxe made real quick, and then we can finish chopping down this tree so we don't leave it floating. Sorry, pigs. And we've already found some coal right here on the surface, so let's grab this real quick. I've spotted a village up on this hill here, so let's go check that out, and hopefully there's some good stuff there. Let's see what these people have that we can steal. Definitely taking this bread. Apples are nice, and yes, potatoes! We already have potatoes! Howdy, new neighbor. Leather pants are better than no pants. Let's make a hoe and steal their hay bales. And let's lock them in their houses so they can't be stupid and get themselves killed immediately. Now we need a bed so we can get our first night of sleep. You guys, I seem to have found some new friends. I'm gonna lure them all into a hole for now until I can make them a pen. Well, that's ominous. Go on, get in there. I'm thinking in honor of the new cherry blossom trees, we should make a pink bed this time, to really keep the pink theme going. I just can't get over this mountain. And there's a broken nether portal right here. Let's see what's in the chest. Okay, nice, there's more obsidian in here, so that's super helpful. Some gold, and that gold sword has sharpness too, which isn't bad. I don't even have a sword yet, so I may as well take that for now. Now I want to go over to the mountains and see if I can find some iron. I know it usually spawns pretty heavily in these mountain type areas, so let's see if I can get lucky and not have to go down into the caves just yet. Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, oh god. I thought he would sink for some reason. Okay, well I guess powdered snow puts fire out. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, that's more like it. I'm gonna grab as much iron as I can. Let's go back over to the sheep pit. And get a little station set up there so we can make a furnace and start smelting this iron because we need to get geared up as soon as possible. I'm feeling much better now that I have full iron armor on. Getting all that iron without having to go into the caves was amazing and it saved me a lot of anxiety. I feel like the first couple days are always the worst in hardcore. Usually if I can make it past that, I can survive for quite a while, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Anyway, I want to start getting my farms and starter areas set up and I'm thinking I want to live on top of the cherry blossom hill so that we can have a view of the mountain from our house. Let's clear some of this dirt out and get it flattened up here and then let's sort on this campfire I made so that we can start cooking up some of the meat we uh, collected earlier and then let's do some chopping. We do need to go get some water so we can make an infinite water source up on the hill which means I have to climb all the way down here to get some. I think we'll just put it right here for now and then we can make a cute little pond later on. And while I'm down here getting bucket number two, I'm gonna grab some of this clay because there's something new that we can make with bricks and I'm super excited about it. I'm thinking this area on the side of the hill is the perfect place for our little starter farm, so let's clear out some of this dirt and get some water placed in the walls. We have potatoes and wheat for our first two crops, which isn't bad at all, they're both very useful, so let's grab them and start hoeing. We're gonna plant them in rows so that they grow faster. Now I want to head down over here towards the sheep pit and build them a little pen so we can release them from the horrors of the pit. But first we need to do a little bit of terraforming so we can get this all smoothed out so that it looks a little bit better. Okay guys, I came up here to sleep but I got distracted by the sunset again. I'm sorry, but it's definitely going to happen again. Also I made a ton of fences, but I think I'm going to make the sheep pen look a little more aesthetically pleasing and use logs instead, which is way more resources, but I think it's going to be worth it. I also want to go crazy terraforming already, but I know I need to calm down until I have better tools. I should probably start a tree farm over here because I'm going to need a lot of logs. Let's make this kind of a wonky oval shape. I don't want it to look too perfect. And let's stack it up so they can't escape and then strip the logs because they look way nicer that way. I'm going to make some ladders so I can get in and out, but they can't. And then let's go take a look at what I've got so far. I like it. I think it fits in with the landscape nice. 
Come on out, guys. You're free now. Well, relatively speaking, I guess. You're still trapped, but you've got a little bit more space now than you did. Parrots and the bats. There we go. Our sheep empire has begun. Let's also finish up our farm before we do anything else and make it look a little bit better. I'm going to use some more oak logs to kind of build up the sides and fit it into the side of the hill. Let's make a bunch of the new trapdoors and get them placed down between the slabs. I know it's raining, but look how cute that looks. I'm trying not to overdo it on the pink yet though, because I know my starter house is definitely going to have some pink in it. So let's throw down some oak slabs to make the start of a little path. And then we're also going to build a staircase from the top of the hill down to the sheep pen so we don't have to hop up and down every single time. Now I want to get some more resources and building materials before we build our house, so I think it's time to brave the caves. Let's head down our new staircase and check out this big old cave that we have right here. I think the safest way is to put some water down first and then try and wrap- <gasps> Oh my god, okay, that was not safe, actually. Oh, there's the water. Okay, let's try that again. I'll grab this coal real quick. And this iron. Okay, look what we have here. The deep dart. I'm nowhere near ready to deal with this, but I am kind of curious. So I'm just going to peek in here a little bit and see if I see anything. Well, I got the advancement. That's a shrieker. Okay, no, never mind. Not dealing with that. Let's get the heck out of here before anything bad happens. This side of the cave looks a lot safer and less terrifying, so let's go see what we can find in there. Hopefully some more iron, because I'm already running low. I found quite a bit of iron and some gold, so I'm gonna head back up now, and oh good, it's night time. Howdy! Why did I think that sleeping was a good idea? That was so stupid. I'm lucky I didn't die. I guess I knew it was coming, so I at least jumped out of the way quick enough, but still, that was not smart. We did lose our furnace, so let's make a new one of those and smelt up the iron we got from the cave, and I'll go clean up the creeper crater while that's going. Okay, now that everything has been cleaned up and my heart has returned to a normal speed, I'm gonna relocate my tree farm down here so it's not blocking the view of my sheep. Speaking of the sheep pen, I should probably go breed them up so we can expand the sheep empire even more. I need to keep remembering to do that while I'm working on other stuff because I keep forgetting. I think it's about time we start working on our starter house so that we have a nice safe place to sleep and the creepers can't get us anymore. Unless they learn how to open doors, but that would be terrible. So let's clear some more of these trees and start getting the foundation mapped out. I definitely want there to be a front deck and a bit of a staircase leading up to a platform that the house is going to sit on. So I've been super indecisive about the house that I want to build, but I think I have a plan now. I've been trying to think about what blocks would look good with the cherry wood, and every stone I have access to right now just seems too harsh. So I think I want to finish up the platform that the house is going to be on real quick, and then I'm going to go on a quick expedition to find some spruce wood and get some saplings. I saw some spruce when I was over by the nether portal, so I'm going to head over that way and see what I can find. I'm pretty excited about the house idea I've come up with. I want to try and build a little A-frame cabin. I've never tried to build an A-frame in Minecraft before, but I think it will hopefully turn out pretty cute. And I think the warmth of the spruce will go well with the pink of the cherry wood, so let's grab some of this and then get some saplings too. And I should probably grab the sugar cane too, because I don't have any yet. I saw some smoke over in this direction, so I'm gonna go check that out now, because I'm hoping that means there's a spruce village over here that I can steal a bunch more stuff. Let's sleep real quick so we don't have any unhappy accidents, and then let's take them for all that they're worth. I'm definitely stealing all of these pumpkins so we can get a pumpkin farm going soon. And I'm taking their trapdoors too, because they're a pain in the butt to craft, and I usually end up using trapdoors in a lot of my builds. Okay, I think I've taken just about everything they have, so let's get back to our home and start building. Oh wait, there's another portal down here. Let's go see if there's anything good in that chest. Well, there's basically a full set of gold tools, but all of these enchantments suck, so I'm not going to bother with any of these, I don't think. I will take the iron nuggets, though. Now let's get out of here. So I don't have replay mod because it hasn't been updated yet, so I think I'm just going to show you snippets of the build. Otherwise, it would probably take forever and nobody would want to watch that. So I'm just going to put all of my stolen goods away and then get some of these saplings planted. And then let's try and get this house figured out. 
I want a pretty steep slope to the roof, so I'm doing stair, full block, stair, full block, and then I'm gonna strip this wood down so it matches the stairs. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Okay, I'll repeat that on the other side and then get the middle in. All right, I'm really liking what it's looking like so far. I think it's turning out so cute. We can finally make the new pot, and let's make a flower pot to go on top. I wish you could place stuff directly in the pot, but it still looks cute with the flower pot on top. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, I like it, but I think it's too big for this corner. Since I don't have replay mod, I figured I'd use my camera account to show you an overview of it real quick. I think it turned out really cute and it's exactly the vibe that I wanted, so let me know what you guys think about it. I really can't get over how cute everything is and how much I like this seed, I'm just, I'm so excited about it. We have an important task that we must take care of immediately, and that task is cow catching. So let's go out and catch us two heifers as quickly as possible so we can start farming some leather and working towards enchanting. Now that we have these two beauties roped up, we need to bring them back over to the farm area and secure them for a minute while we build up a second pen next to the sheep pen. I want to get a full enchanting setup going as quickly as possible so that we can stay alive for as long as possible. So let's get this pen built. I'm just going to do the exact same design as the sheep pen from last episode, so I'm going to speed through it and then let's get our cows in here and start feeding them some wheat. And there we go, we have our first baby cow. Next on the agenda for the day is a quick pumpkin farm down here below our wheat and potato farm. I want to start getting these pumpkins going so I can start lighting up the area with jack-o'-lanterns if we find moss soon, but also so we can get some good villager trading going. We're also going to mirror the same design as the upper farm so we can kind of get a terraced farm look going. Hopefully I can find some more crops soon so I can keep expanding all down the hill. I think that would look really nice. And I'm gonna link up the staircase with a path real quick to make that look more connected. Okay, I can't stop myself from terraforming at least a little bit, even with my iron tools. And I've been thinking this ravine slash hole in the ground type of area needs a small creek running through it. So I'm gonna flatten the bottom a little bit and create a small waterfall that's gonna be flowing out of a little spring up above. So let's get that dug out and filled with water. I think that's looking pretty cute, so let's fill in the bottom area. Eventually I want it to flow into an even bigger pond, but I need to cover up the cave first, and I'm gonna need a lot more dirt before I do that. I also want to build a tiny bridge over it as well. Okay, now that we have those chores out of the way, I think we should try some more caving. I want to start getting some diamonds so we can get better armor and tools, and we're also already running kind of low on iron again, so I saw a pretty big cave up on the mountain, and I'm gonna see if there's anything good in there. Hopefully it's not too dangerous. I will try not to fall to my almost death again, but I ain't making any promises. Let's also hope that we don't hit the deep dark again immediately, as I'm still definitely not prepared for that, but since it's in the same general area, I'm not holding out too much hope. Let's grab this coal real quick before we have to go be brave. Oh my god. Okay, I, I told you I wasn't making any promises. Okay, hello. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, the caves are way too much for me right now. That was way too close. 
New plan. I'm going to kill these free-range cows real quick for their leather, and I'm going to make some leather boots so I can get some more iron from the mountains without having to worry about sinking in the powdered snow. So let's throw these on and see what we can find. Look, we're as light as a rabbit. I've never even gotten that advancement, I don't think, because I've never really climbed or explored any of the new mountains. These mountains really are crazy. Oh, hello. Oh, look at all these goats, and there's even a baby. Actually, there's two babies. Okay, they are so cute. I'm abducting them. I'm stealing them. I had the leads on me from the cow catching earlier, and I'm taking them home with me. I know they won't stay small and cute like this, but I can't help it. They're coming back to my house to live. Okay, guys, we're back. This is your new home now. I'm your mother now. Okay, let's head back up to the house now and get back to work. I found over two stacks of iron, which is great. Now, I think it's time that we upgrade to a blast furnace so we can complete the furnace tree over in the corner and smelt stuff down a little faster. We also have to make this infinite water source into a cute little pond like I mentioned last episode. There, that looks much better. Okay, I still want diamonds, obviously, so I think it's time for another cave. Hopefully this one is less dangerous than the last one. I'm gonna try one of the caves in the field below the mountain this time, so hopefully there's no dripstone and no deep dark. I'm gonna be careful with the water this time so we don't repeat what happened last time, and I'm gonna wait for it to flow all the way down. Okay, let's try this again. Already off to a better start. Let's run around and light some of this up. Well, there's a ton of glow squid down here, so that's good to know in case I need some glow squid ink at any point. Okay, we're heading back up. I did look in the water to see if there were any diamonds, and I didn't see anything. And it didn't really go any deeper, so this cave is pretty much a dud. Let's go find another one and hope we have better luck. Well, I found this giant hole in the ground, so let's see if we can find anything down here. Mostly just iron on this level, but the water keeps going down here, so let's see what we can see. Hopefully it's not too crazy down here. That was on purpose. Another creeper bites the dust. My bad. Oh my gosh, diamonds! Okay, I can't stop and mine those right now. I need to handle these guys real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. No, run away, run away. You know, to be honest, I'm not sure that was worth it for one diamond and a little bit of lapis and a tiny bit of redstone. Okay, this is too much for me. I'm not cut out for this. Let's get back to our cute house. All that for one diamond. Alright guys, I'm giving up on caving for now. I've made the cutest boat you've ever seen, and we're gonna go out and explore the ocean instead. I wanna find a shipwreck and hopefully get some moss, cause I love using moss and I want some azalea leaves as well, cause they're my favorite leaf. And maybe we can find some diamonds that way too, if we're lucky. So let's head down and take this boat on her maiden voyage and see what we can find. And let's head on out of here. Just kidding, I'm heading back in because I completely forgot that there's something else we can find in the oceans now, and I'm super excited to try it out, but we need to go and grab some things first. This being the most important thing. Let's smelt that, and then let's grab a feather, which I luckily already have, and then let's make a brush. I can't believe I almost explored the ocean and completely forgot about archaeology. I'm also going to chop down this tree for some wood so I can craft up a couple doors real quick so we don't immediately drown in the ocean when we're brushing gravel and sand. Okay, for real this time, let's head out and see what we can find. And we found our first drowned temple? Castle? I'm not sure what exactly these are called, but let's go take a look. I guess we're going to have to fight off some of these drowned, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oop, just kidding, that guy has a trident. Uh, back to the boat, back to the boat. I'm out. Well, here's one above water. That might be a bit easier. Let's try this. Bye, dude. Ah yes, Curse of Vanishing. How wonderful. I guess I'll take the wheat though. Our first suspicious gravel. Let's see what we get. A wooden hoe. Okay, not exactly the exciting treasure I had in mind. Let's try again. And it's wheat. Okay. Third time's the charm? Nope, it's another wooden hoe. Okay, an emerald is an improvement. Finally a shard. Let's see what it is. Explore? Okay. Another shard! And it's also explore. Well, we cleaned out that one and only got two shards. Let's check this nether portal while we are here and see if there's anything good in there. Obsidian and a golden apple. I'll definitely take that. I'm probably gonna need it. Okay, in case Trident Guy is still there, I'm gonna make a shield. I never play with shields, but I probably shouldn't risk it in this case. I don't want to lose the world to a Trident Guy, so I think I'm gonna have to be a shield girly for a minute. Yep, shield was a smart choice. Okay, I cleared that temple out too, and I found some more shards, but no sniffer eggs, which is upsetting because I really want to get a sniffer. Am I looking in the right place? Somebody let me know. There is a shipwreck though, so let's explore that while we're out. Nice, at least there's one less diamond we have to mine now. I'll take it. Heck yeah, there's the moss. Yes, that's awesome. Let's head back home. 
I did end up with quite a few shards, so that's pretty cool. But then I got a ridiculous amount of iron axes as well, which saves us some iron, I guess, since I tend to burn through axes pretty quickly. But this seems like way too many iron axes to find in suspicious gravel. Now, instead of caving, I'm gonna dig a mine shaft so we can hopefully go strip mining instead. I know it's kind of boring, but boring is better than dying in a cave. Nailed it. Well, I seem to have broken into a cave, so let's go see how bad it is. Oh look, it's the deep dark again. Ooh, well at least there's a diamond here. Ooh, two diamonds. And there's a bunch more deep dark. Nope. I'm heading back up. I don't know if you noticed, but we have way too much stuff for the amount of chests we have here, so I think it's already time for a storage room. Let's make a ton of chests. Yep, that should be a good start. And then I also want to make a pot with the shirts we got, so let's grab some of those. And okay, I think this is how we craft them. Yep. Okay, let's make two of those, and then since we have moss now, let's work on lighting up our area with some hidden lighting. Alright, I've decided this is where I want my storage room to be. I cleared out a little bit of dirt already, and I want to set it into the hill a little bit so that I can always expand it later on if I need to. I'm going for a kind of hobbit hole style, so we'll see how that goes. But before we do that, I realize there's something else new that I forgot. Hanging signs. So let's make one of those right now. Kind of expensive to make with the chains and stripped logs, but I guess we do get six of them out of it, and I know exactly where I want to put my first one. Now it's building time. A few of you said that custom trees were a good idea to break up all the pink, so let's add a few of those in with our azalea leaves. Custom trees are still a struggle for me, so you'll have to let me know what you think. I made a new campfire, so we're going to make a little spot down in front of our house that we can place it on top of. I think right here would be a good spot. And now we have a place to cook our food outside when we just have a little bit to cook and we don't want to use a smoker. We also need to remember to keep breeding up our animals, especially our cows, because I want a full enchanting setup by the end of the episode so we can start getting some better tools and armor. Now I need to do some more mining for diamonds, and I know we don't have a lot, but I think it's time for our first diamond pick, just to speed up the process a little bit, and then let's head down into our mine and see what we can find. Oop, should probably equip my shield before I forget and stress people out. Okay, I'm still scared of all this deep dark, but I want to explore it a little bit in case there are diamonds here. If I hear any shriekers, I'm out of here, but until then, I think we should probably be okay. Okay, so I've been watching Python mine out Skulk in his series, and he's been uncovering diamonds that way, so maybe that'll work. Okay, that plan did not work out super well for me, so I'm going to continue my staircase down to negative 58 and start strip mining. Strip mining is not the most fun way to get diamonds by any means, but I'm getting desperate over here, so I'll try anything at this point. Alright guys, my mining luck has been terrible, so maybe my exploring luck will be a little bit better. Some of y'all said I need to be looking in a warm ocean biome for a sniffer egg, so I'm going to make sure that I am in one this time while I'm brushing stuff, because I really want a sniffer this episode, so I'm going to get one if it kills me, which would not be ideal, so hopefully that does not happen. And hopefully I can find some more shipwrecks too and get some armor trim. Let's grab our potatoes, and I think I'm going to make another brush as well, because I don't want mine to break on me while I'm out there. Now let's go see what we can find. Okay, I've come across the first one and we're in a lukewarm ocean. I don't know if that counts, but let's try it anyway just to see if there's anything there. Hopefully there are no trident wielding drown down here. Oh, nope, that's a trident. Yeah, that's not worth it. Let's go check out this shipwreck instead. Lots of iron, but no diamonds. Ooh, carrots. Send him to Davy Jones' locker. Gotcha. 
Ah, armor trim. Yes, okay, that's so exciting. I didn't think I would find them that fast at all. And a buried treasure map. That's nice too. I'm gonna do the 9x9 trick because I don't have the patience to be digging out a bunch of sand. Great, no diamonds. I will take all this stuff, but I think it's time for a chest boat, so let's get that made so we have more room to store all our treasures. Well, no more drowned castle things yet, but I did find the biggest coral reef I've ever seen, so that's cool to have nearby. I'm gonna grab some pickles real quick just to have them. You guys, look at this Badlands biome I just found. Is that not the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Seriously, I've never seen one look like this. It's really cool, but also kind of freaky looking. Gotta snatch up some of this cactus real quick while I'm here. I finally found another one, so let's rid it of its inhabitants real quick. Wheat and coal. Okay, not ideal. Okay, I cleared out that whole thing, and it was pretty huge, and there was not a single sniffer egg. But I did find a bunch more sherds, so that's cool, and I got some more treasure maps, so I will go see what those lead me to in a second. But I'm not giving up on the sniffer yet. Okay, let's try this again. Wish me luck. Is that what I think it is? Ah, a sniffer egg! We did it! Sniffer has been achieved! Look what I found over here, a desert pyramid. Hopefully it has some good loot, but I know they also added archaeology to those, so I'm excited to see what I can find in there. Oops. Okay, let's see if there's anything good down here, and make sure there aren't any mobs that are going to blow us up. Alright, not the best, but I do want the saddles and bones. Nothing. 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 Let's grab the TNT, though. Okay, now the fun part. No diamonds, but I did find this nether portal, and pretty much just iron nuggets. Hopefully this treasure is a little bit more exciting than that. Yes, two diamonds. I grabbed the rest of the treasure too, don't worry. Also, I think I'm lost. I found another village though, so we may as well explore that while we're out and see if they have anything good. I'll be taking that, and this, and also this. Okay, now let's try and find our way back home. Found another shipwreck though. More armor trim! Don't mind if I do! And the books are useful. No diamonds. Oh, thank goodness, we finally found our way back. I was beginning to give up hope. Oh, cute house, I missed you. Okay, before we do anything else, we need to get the sniffer egg situated. I saw that they hatch best on top of moss, so we're gonna grab that and the egg, and then let's see where we should put it. I put it right behind my house here. I don't know exactly how long it will take, but hopefully not too long. And since it is close to the house, hopefully we'll notice when it hatches. I'm so excited. I was out there searching for so long. Now we just need to find another one so we can start making some sniffer babies. Now that we have carrots and beetroot, it's time that we add in another farm. Very cute. So we do actually have all the materials to make an enchanting table, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get that made while I'm thinking about it, even though we will only have one diamond left after that, and then let's go find somewhere to place it down. Oh my gosh, a baby sniffer! He hatched! We have a sniffer! Look at him, he's so cute! Oh, look at his little nose sniffing! Alright, enchantment table down, and just out of curiosity, no, I think we can do better than that. All right, I'm sorry cows, but it's time to thin the herd a little bit. Okay, I don't want to take them all out, so let's go find some free-range heifers and get the rest of the leather. I found yet another village close to my house, so let's head over there real quick and see what they've got and lock any villagers in their houses. Oh my gosh, it's not a village, it's an abandoned village. Ooh, these are so cool. I, I love these. I don't know if I've ever found one of these in a survival world before. Well, there's the remains of one of the inhabitants. Rest in peace, my guy. Anyway, let's see what else is here. I am going to kill this cow, though, since he is nicely contained for me. And that's all the leather we need. You get to live another day, other cow. Oh, one of the inhabitants has survived. Let's try and trap him here just to make sure he can't get out because I'm pretty sure if they spawn with the village, they don't despawn. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll find out. You guys are lucky my heifer hunting days are behind me. You get to live another day. 
Let's get the rest of these bookshelves made. We should have just enough. And let's also cook up this meat since we have a ton from getting all that leather. Okay, our sniffer has disappeared. Hopefully nothing bad has happened to him as that would be highly upsetting. Yay! I'm so excited we have a new flower and our sniffer has been sniffing, so that's good. I'm gonna get this planted as soon as I set up my bookshelves. Oh, there you are. Okay, we are at level 30 now and let's see what we get. Okay, fortune 2, not bad at all, definitely better than no fortune and maybe that will help us with our diamond troubles. Okay, I'm gonna grab my lapis and get that enchanted right away. Hopefully we get something else on it as well like unbreaking since it's already half broken. Okay, let's see what we get. Not bad, only efficiency 3, but we did get on breaking 3, so that's really nice. Planting the past. Yee! Hello, sir? Can I help you? Okay, well, I'm about to start building here, so I'm gonna need you to move it along. Okay, now it's building time. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. We need a lapis chest in here, and then I'm actually gonna throw some random enchants on iron picks real quick. I know this might be controversial, but just giving them anything to make them a little faster or last longer will be good for what we're about to do next. We're gonna head back down into the strip mine, and we aren't coming out until we have enough diamonds for our tools and armor. I have a lot of goals in this world, and this iron armor ain't gonna cut it for much longer. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, I know I said I wasn't coming out until I got a ton of diamonds, but I already need more picks, so I'm back. And while we're up here, I think it's time to finally fix something that people have been slightly upset about. We're finally gonna make some stairs for our mine shaft. I'm sorry it's taking me this long, but I don't really mind hopping up and down them. Let's throw some cheap enchants on these bad boys, let's throw some stairs in, and then let's get back to diamond hunting. Alright, we have 30 whole diamonds now, so it's a heck of a lot better than before. And I've gone through all of those iron picks, so let's grab our hose and go clear out some of the skulks so we can get our levels back up for enchanting. I've broken both hoes and we're at level 28 now, so let's go make some more and bring some of this stuff up to our storage room. Oh, and we're at 35 diamonds now! Which actually brings us up to 40 total with the extra ones I had in my chest, so let's start making some nice shiny blue armor and some nice shiny blue tools because we're finally moving on up in the world and we definitely need to be flaunting our wealth so that all the bad guys know they can't mess with me anymore. Let's get crazy and make another diamond pick since we can afford it and then I know they say you should never spend your diamonds on a hoe, but I think we have to in this case. I want a full set. Now let's get some more iron hoes since I don't want to use my diamond one yet and let's go get to level 30. More diamonds? Don't mind if I do. Level 30, may as well shoot for 33. I broke my hose, but I'm so close. Okay, let's get out of the caves and see what we can get. Thank you. Oh, looting three right off the bat. Okay, yep, that's probably gonna be it. Let's just check the pick and nope, 
definitely going for looting 3. And smite 4 and fire aspect. I prefer sharpness, but overall that's not bad. So oh my god, fortune 3. Let's just check the chest plate. We do need prop 4, but I think I have to go for the fortune. Okay, no unbreaking, but that's okay. We can combine it with this one once we use it up a little more, and then we'll have a great pick after that. Let's also finally get around to making this little bridge I talked about a while ago to connect up this area. There, I think that looks much better. Just tiny and super simple, but I think it helps to sort of start connecting everything together. Speaking of that, we have some more aesthetic stuff to work on real quick. It looks much more alive. We do need to find lily pads soon though. Just needs one more thing. Alright, that's looking good, and now that we have diamond tools, it's time to conquer another idea that I think I've mentioned. I want the creek to flow into a bigger pond, and then I think I have a pretty great idea for what I'm going to do with that. So let's turn this cave into a tiny lake with a waterfall. First, let's go over here and break a couple blocks out to release this mighty river and see what we're working with. Okay, not quite the torrent I had in mind, but I think it's got a good waterfall shape. So let's get to work and start filling in this gigantic hole in the ground. And boom, we have a waterfall and a lake. Okay, now my grand idea for this area is to carve a cave into the flat wall you see behind me and put my nether portal in it. I think it could look really cool and it will give us a separate area to put it in so that we don't have it right next to the house where it'll be loud. I just need to figure out a path slash bridge down to the area, so let's see if my ideas are bigger than my ability to execute them. Oh, and I'm also gonna go back to that abandoned nether portal by my house and yoink all the obsidian from it as well. All right, let me speed this up a bit. We're cutting some onions here. Let's get this nether act cleaned up. That's much better. Can't even tell it was there. Now let's head back and see what we can do with this idea. This is what we have so far. Not bad, but not great. Also, ignore the dirt. I'm trying to spread the grass. Wheat break time so we can get back to level 30. Just kidding, I got distracted. Let's make an automatic composter by our farms because we're starting to get way too many seeds and we could use the bone meal. All right, is that not the cutest little composter you've ever seen in your whole life? Hello again, cows. Thank you. Well, I was gonna finish this up, but I seem to have some trespassers in my lake, so let's go to work on something else instead. We can come back to this. Let's build a proper- oh, good, rain. A proper mine entrance instead, because it's looking a little sad right now, and we can't have that. Howdy, ma'am. I forgot I have 30 levels, so let's enchant something real quick. I think I want to go for the shovel because I really want a nicer shovel for terraforming. I know I need to focus on armor, but I, I can't help it. I'm sorry that my priorities are all messed up, especially for hardcore. 
and just unbreaking. Ugh, I really want efficiency, but oh well. Okay, back to building. Okay, we're done. I think it turned out really cute and it's not pink, but yeah, now we have a cute building for our mine. Boom, staircase. Okay, I was waiting for the results of the poll, but it's official. This guy has a name now and the winning name was Sir Whiffington. So everyone say hello to Sir Whiffington, a distinguished name for a distinguished gentleman. Okay, our friends have vacated the premises. Let's get back to work on our nether portal area. Now I want to cover up this little hole in the ground and terraform it into the side of this hill here so I can start building a house for Petunia and Jimothy in this area right here. So we should probably light this up so we don't accidentally start a mob farm down here. And while I'm down here I should probably grab this coal, otherwise I will completely forget about it. guys, it's building time again. Someone suggested we make a house for the goats, so we obviously have to do that. I plan on making a barn later, so this isn't going to be a barn, but anyway, let's just get into it and see what happens. Jimothy, get down from there. Come on guys, let's get you into your new home. I think they need to stay tied up because they jump so high they'll be able to escape unless I build a huge fence and then you won't be able to see the build. So I'll, I'm sorry guys, but I hope you like your new house. Now that the goat's house is done, we need to finish one of our main goals of this episode and that's to get our nether portal done. I have enough obsidian for a small one, but I've decided I want a big one that is hidden in the side of the cave walls, so we need more obsidian. I could go back to the caves, but that's no fun. So I'm gonna go explore a little bit and see if we can find a lava pool somewhere instead. Wait a minute, we have a saddle. Let's get a horse. Love me. Hopefully he's fast. No, you're very slow. You are also pretty slow. Okay, this guy is much faster. We'll keep him. Now let's go and find some lava on our trusty steed. Well, we are just past our mountains and there's another village over here and another cherry grove. So let's go see if they have anything good that we can steal. Okay, Mr. Horse, I'm trusting you to stay right here while I do some looting. Don't be wandering off. And he's gone. He has immediately wandered off. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ooh, abandoned nether portal. Okay, Mr. Horse, let's get back home. Alright guys, let's get this nether portal in. Well, that was embarrassing. Let's try that again. Okay. Looks good, but I want to decorate it and this whole area with nether blocks, but that means we actually have to go into the nether. Now the nether is one of my least favorite places to go, but we need to go there to progress the game because I would like to work towards the dragon fight happening fairly soon, so we need to be brave. Let's just pop in real quick and see what kind of spawn we got. Hopefully it's not too terrible. Let's find out. I accidentally lost the footage of me going into the nether for the first time, but a ton of people got it right. My spawn is a basalt delta, and we're about to head back in there. All I did was spawn in and immediately leave, so I've just made myself a gold helmet and grabbed some building blocks and some extra gold. And let's head back in there and see what we can find. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I still hate it. Hello. Oh god, okay. Thank you. 
Oh good, it's a crimson forest again. Great, that's so fun. I love hoglands. I guess we should probably try and get back up to level 30 while we're here by mining quartz, and also getting a bunch of quartz would not be a bad thing. There's also a warped forest over here, which is way better than a crimson forest, but I would like to see another fortress. I do love that blue wood, though. That's dangerous. <gasps> oh my god. Well, okay. I mean, that went a lot better than I expected. Alright, let's do this. I'm terrified, but hopefully we can find some good stuff in here. You know, I could get back up to level 30 and make a bow and enchant it. Because then if we got infinity, that would help so much, and then I could fight the blazes and not die immediately. I'm gonna do some piglin trading too though while I'm here. Hello, friends. Boy, do I have a deal for you. Thank you. Well, they didn't give me any fire resistance at all, but I did get 62 spectral arrows, so that's good. And I have some string. Um, let's go home and make a bow. Oh. oh my god, home sweet home. Okay, I just realized that I was in such a hurry to get out of there, I didn't actually get myself back up to level 30, so that wasn't that bright. So I guess we're going back down to the mine to mine Skulk so we can do that. Because that was kind of the whole intent. Don't worry, I'm gonna put stairs on the other half of my mine. Or a minecart rail, I haven't decided. How did you get here? Oh my god, okay, that scared me so bad. Let's all pray to the benevolent Sir Whiffington that we get infinity. Please, benevolent Sir Whiffington, bless us. Well, it doesn't say infinity, but we're gonna see what we get. Not terrible, not great. At least we have unbreaking on it, and we do have almost a stack of arrows, so I, that'll be helpful. Okay, guys, let's try this again. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm still terrified of the nether, but I want to fight the dragon soon, so I'm gonna be brave. Let's go. Okay, I brought my brewing stand and some water bottles so I can try and make some fire resistance potions while I'm in here because that would be super helpful. So let's go kill some blazes. But well, we found a blaze spawner. Except for I just realized we don't have nether wart yet, so I gotta go back out there. Okay, never mind. It's gotta be here somewhere we can find it. Okay, I just looked through the whole fortress and there wasn't any nether ward at all. So that's super disappointing. It looks like it glitched with the crimson forest because the parts where the staircases were supposed to be were just like cut off and there wasn't anything there. So that plan didn't work out super well. May as well actually get some levels before we leave though. Leave me alone. I think we go ahead and go with the axe. Okay, good, a perfect axe. Oh, so let's head back down and see if we can get our levels up again. Oh. Well, I found the shrieker. Oh god, that's twice. Okay. So that was terrifying and a little bit too close of a call. I don't know if I sounded scared because I tend to panic and get quiet, but believe me, I was freaking out internally. But we have our 30 levels again, so I guess it was worth it. I knew I was getting too comfortable down there. Ignore that. Okay, actually, fire protection would not be bad because we're definitely going back in the nether. And depth strider, I wish I had on breaking, but hey, that's better than we've been doing. Okay guys, I know we need to go back in the nether, but I am not really keen on doing that right now because I'm scared and that's okay. So what I think we're going to do instead is actually focus on the villagers over on that hill over there. I'm going to tear down their entire village, which sounds mean, but I'm going to build them something better. I'm thinking like a castle or a large house that they can all go in. There's only two of them I think right now, but we're going to start breeding them up and then I'm going to get some enchantments. I'm going to go for mending, of course, obviously, but protection for my be necessary too because I'm tired of running up and down and mining skull. It's dangerous. And also that thing shrieked twice and I don't need another shriek. I am not losing the world to the warden yet. I mean, it could happen in the future, but not right now. So we're going to do a little village transformation.
Alright guys, so we've cleared out this entire area here and I think we're ready to start building so I'm gonna go grab my supplies and then we'll get right into it. Hello. You're gonna have to move, sir. Look, they're going into their new home. Okay, so pretty much everyone is in the compound now, so I've grabbed a couple of lecterns and a composter to start getting some trading going. But first, I want to plant a big old field behind the compound with potatoes and carrots, both for breeding and to start getting some emeralds going. And then I also want to throw in a little fountain in their courtyard, so let's get that done real quick. Alright, now let's grab these workstations and start building up our empire. I ran back to the house to grab some supplies, but someone mentioned that I still needed to swap these leaves out for Azalea, so I'm going to do that real quick. Sorry it took me so long. Okay, you're welcome. And that does look better. Boom, staircase up to the compound, done. All right guys, no more distractions. I need to focus and start rolling some trades. This episode has already taken me so many hours and that's not very cash money. Speaking of cash money, let's go start making some emeralds. I've got some stacks of paper and a dream for mending, so let's do this. This was only like my second reroll. It's kind of expensive and he doesn't have a paper trade, so I'm gonna have to run over and grab my emeralds, but I think I should probably just take it while I can. Okay, let's hope he didn't reset his trade while I was gone. Nope, still mending. Okay, let's lock him in. I've been rolling the farmer as well, and yes, perfect, potatoes and carrots, just what I wanted. Well, that's way cheaper, so I can't pass that up. I mean, I, get, I guess we have two mending villagers now. I can't believe that. That never would have happened if I hadn't locked that other guy in. Let's get a Fletcher going as well. Silk touch has been achieved. Ugh, infinity. Man, I really need protection four, but I, I don't think I can pass up infinity for five emeralds. Then I can go back into the nether without being quite as terrified. Yeah, let's just do it. Also, I didn't forget about our new friend the horse. He will get a barn soon, don't worry. But in the meantime, I did choose a name for him, and that name is Ginger Snap. And now that we have librarians, I can actually get some name tags for everyone. Look, we have three new residents at the compound. How exciting. Okay, while I wait for the new residents to grow up, I'm gonna chop some more trees and do some more chores, but I've also hit level 30 again from trading, so I think I'll run over and see if I can get anything good with that. I've spent so much time with the villagers, I might be losing my mind a little bit, but I'm so close to having everything where I want it to be. Oh, I also need to grab my anvil while I'm over there so I can start getting everything enchanted. I think I'm gonna go for the hoe this time, and it's saying efficiency 4, so let's see what we get. Okay, great, that's a great hoe, 10 out of 10 hoe. Oh 
people man protection too. I know that's not great, but it's relatively cheap and I've been doing this for forever and I still haven't seen anything higher than this, so I think I just need to bite the bullet and take this and start combining them. I'm desperate at this point. Yep, let's just do it. I'm tired of chopping down trees and breaking lecterns. I'm so close to having almost perfect tools and armor, but having one Fletcher isn't cutting it anymore, so I'm gonna go make another workstation and then my stick trading will be like 200% more efficient. Thank you, my good sir. Alright, and with those final stick trades, we got the final protection 4 on my chest piece, which means the only thing I have left is my helmet, which I want to try on the enchanting table first to see if I can get respiration that way. If not, I'll just get another villager to trade me it. So now my tools and armor have great enchants and I feel much safer, which is good because next episode we're going to head back into the nether. We're going to head back into the nether today and do a little bit more exploring and hopefully find another nether fortress so we can actually get nether wart this time. But first, there's something that I have been wanting to do since I found it, and now that our armor is fully enchanted up with prop 4, I think it's time. We're gonna use some armor trims. I'm thinking I'm gonna use gold on it because that looks really nice with the blue, but first we need to make a smithing table. Smithing table achieved. Hi Sir Whiffington. I think let's just throw it right there. Let's take our diamond chest plate, throw it in there, use a template and a gold ingot. Oh that looks so cool. Okay. Crafting a new look. Let's see what we look like. We look so fancy! Now we still have a couple more and I could put it on my other armor pieces as well, but I think I'm gonna wait until I find some other trims. Okay, now that we're dressed to the nines and we're looking good, let's head into the super scary place where I might lose it all. And we do have a bow this time, and it's got infinity, power 3, and unbreaking 3 on it, and we've got our one arrow and our golden helmet and some extra food. So I think we're as prepared as we could possibly be. Yep, just as dangerous as I remember. Okay, now our nether fortress that we found last time is over in this direction, and it was a dud. This direction looks very dangerous, and this direction over here is the warped forest, so I think we're going to explore through that. And great, we've reached the crimson forest again already. Nice. Is that what I think it is? Super dangerous, but it looks like we found another fortress. Oh wait, it's right, it's right there. Oh god. Hey, leave me alone. This better have nether wart. Ow. Come here. Oh my god! Ah! Spooky scary skeleton! That was only like the third or fourth one that I killed. Y'all, if I don't find a nether wart staircase... A staircase? Another staircase? No. Oh. Rib. I totally forgot that those even could spawn in these things. So that's pretty exciting, and I have no idea if that's rare or not. I know that there's one really rare one, but I don't know which one that is. I'm gonna guess probably not that one. Ooh, another one! Diamond horse armor! We can put it on ginger snap. Be cautious. But we did it! We found nether wart finally! Oh my- and now there's a ton. Now there's just a ton of nether wart. Now where was this last episode? <gasps> Are you kidding me? We already have two wither skeleton skulls, guys. Oh my- okay, there's another wither skeleton. Okay, that would actually be really cool if we found three, because honestly, I could fight the wither. I could fight the wither before I fight the dragon. I've done quite a few wither fights, and they scare me way less than the dragon fight. Come on, give us a skull. No. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Well, we may as well get some blaze rods while we're here. There's a feel. Hey guys, come on. And look, another one right there. Okay, let's hit a you, a you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, before that gets fireballed, that's mine. And we have three wither skeleton skulls. And we have 25 blaze rods, which is more than enough. This is not how I expected this episode to go, but here we are. All right, we've made it back to our portal and it's a beautiful sunny day and we still have this child here. And now we can actually make another wart farm there. Hello, Ginger Snap. Do I have the fanciest, most beautiful new piece of clothing for you? You are going to fit all of the latest trends. We're matching Ginger Snap. We look so good together. Look at us. 10 out of 10 fanciest people in this world. Also, there's not a whole lot of other people in this world. 
and we got a ton of goodies, including our three Wither Skeleton Skulls. We got a ton of gold, we didn't get very much iron, no diamonds, but we have Nether Wart, a ton of Blaze Rods, and two new Armor Trims! Okay, let's head back in, let's get some building blocks, and then we'll redecorate this portal. Okay guys, so that's the nether portal design in the little nether wart farm, so overall I love it, but let me know what you guys think. Now there is just one more thing that I want to do before we try and fight the wither. Just in case we lose and we end up losing this world, I want to name all of our animals with name tags before we actually attempt that fight. We're going to have to level up one of the librarians, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that and getting some name tags and then we can give everyone names finally. And also while we're here, we're going to put silk touch and mending on this hoe right here. Thank you. Let's give her a name as well. And we've got a name tag. It is 20 emeralds a name tag though. I really need to get some zombies over here. Maybe set one loose in the compound and see what happens. There's Sir Whiffington. We got Petunia, Jimothy, and Ginger Snap. So let's go get everyone named. There we go. Ginger Snap, Jimothy, Petunia, and Sir Whiffington. Do you like it? You're actually named now, Sir Whiffington. Okay, now that everyone is officially named and our world is looking beautiful, let's go risk it all and fight the Wither. I think I'm gonna go down into the mines and then dig out a big hallway and try and fight him in there. We might even uncover some diamonds. Or we might die. But, we'll see. I'm gonna go grab the soul sand and the Wither Skulls and then let's go down there and see if we can beat him. I've got some milk, but we should probably be smart about this and make some potions of strength too. We may as well, we don't want to be just rushing in. And I do have all the ingredients now. Okay, we've got some potions of strength, and we got local brewery. Okay, I'm not nervous at all, you're not nervous, nobody's nervous, everything is totally fine, totally chill. It's gonna be great. I'm not really sure what has possessed me to do this, I don't think I've ever fought the wither before I fought the dragon before. Now, I don't want to get too close to where all the skulk is, because I don't want to accidentally summon a warden at the same time that I'm fighting a wither, so let's dig in right here. Okay, this should be a good spot to do it. I'm not freaking out, you're freaking out, everything is fine. Here we go! Why are you going up there already? Come back down here, stop going up. Oh god, okay. Where'd you go? Come here. I didn't think about the fact that there would be silverfish. You guys, leave me alone. I'm trying to do something here. And I should probably drink this. He's almost half dead. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's time to... Okay, okay, okay. We did it. You guys, we did it. We did it and we're fine. We only got withered once. Okay, yeah, that wasn't so bad. And we've got another star, which means we can make a beacon. Okay, let's head back up. Now why would it be raining on this of all days, when we are making our triumphant return? And since we can't really make a beacon yet, we may as well, you know, show off our wealth a little bit and put our nether star right here above our bed. Nice. What if we just use nether stars for decoration? Would you guys hate me? Today we're going to be getting ready to fight the dragon, which means we have a lot of work to do. But before we go off and risk our entire world, we do need to make a barn for Ginger Snap. 
However, the idea that I have for the build means that I need to go on an adventure and get some very specific blocks. Luckily, I know where to find them, but it is a little bit of a trek. Oh, and also, I have made a new shield since my other one's about to break, and I'm going to go and get a mending and unbreaking book and throw those on the shield real quick so we can keep it for a while. Got mending and unbreaking three. Well, we broke our anvil. Hi, Ginger Snap. I feel like it's been a while, Ginger Snap. How you doing? Awesome. Well, that's good. Are you ready to have a house? Because we're going to finally make you a house. I just have to go get some building materials and I'll be right back. All right, let's head out. This is still the weirdest mesa I've ever seen. And we need this color specifically. Oh, there is a jungle over here too. Okay, we might have to grab some jungle related things too while we're here. All right, I've got quite a few stacks now and I got a stack of regular terracotta too. So I'm gonna drop that off in my chest boat really quick and then let's go explore the jungle. Grab some of these melons. And finally, finally, bamboo. And let's see if we can find some cocoa beans, get some saplings. Oh, there's another portal. And a cocoa bean! Thank you. Now let's see if this has a chest. There it is. What do you got? Well, I'll take the gold. All right, let's head back to our boat and we've made it home. I really need to make a path down to where I take my boat and put a little dock out here. I think that would be super adorable. And we should probably get our bamboo set down here so we can start growing a bunch of it. Okay guys, I've got all of my building supplies in here and I'm thinking I wanna put the barn in this area right here. So I need to smooth out the land a little bit first and then let's get building. Okay, now our shovel has unbreaking three efficiency four mending and silk touch because we're going to need some podzol to finish up the barn build. Okay guys, Ginger Snap's new home is complete. I think it looks pretty adorable. It turned out really good and I love the red terracotta in it. So I'm glad that we went to the Mesa to get it. Now let's just bring Ginger Snap in and show him his new home. Ginger Snap, I have something to show you and I hope that you like it. Well, do you like it? Wow. I'm gonna take that as a yes. You've got some hay bales for your food. You've got some water troughs. It's all lit up. There's more hay bales upstairs. Now you're safe. It's a miracle. You're welcome. Okay guys, now that Ginger Snap has his new home and he's very happy and safe, we have to go and get ready to risk the entire world. So what we really need to focus on is getting some ender pearls, which means we have to go back into the nether. Luckily we do have a lot of gold, so we could trade with some piglins if we find them. We can also go in the warped forest and fight some endermen. Oh, we have trespassers. What have you got? None of this is particularly useful to me. So please vacate my property, sir. Or I'll sick Sir Whiffington on you. Why are you walking towards Sir Whiffington? He does not want to be your friend. Yeah, that's right. Go and get. Get out of here. Okay, now you're in my house. You've gone too far. Well, they're gone. Crazy. Okay, we've got food. We've got everything we need. Let's go do this. Looks like there's a ton of Endermen, so let's make a little platform so we can fight them without dying. Come here. Really? Okay, hey, well, they keep disappearing and there's piglins right here, so. Oh god, okay, nope. Chill. Let's be chill here. Mm 
Hey guys, we now have 16 plus 3, so we've got 19 whole ender pearls. I think that should be more than enough. We spent all of our gold trading, and we still only got a few from that. I think we were at like 9 maybe. So we punched a couple more endermen, and now we've got plenty. So let's get the heck out of this place. Um, my sword just disappeared. I genuinely do not know what happened unless it flew back into the nether and immediately into the lava, which would suck. All right, let's grab our blaze rods. I thought that I got rid of you, sir. I see you are a different one. I mean, this is a little more useful. I don't actually have dark oak yet, so I could get some of that, and then I could use the lily pads too, but I could also just find these things in the world. I'm not sure. And I'm kind of in the middle of doing something important right now, so please leave. <laughs> anyway, let's get some blaze powder, and let's get 16 eyes of ender. So I have most of the things that I need. I do need to make a new sword now, which is pretty upsetting, but that's okay, we can do that. I guess we're gonna have to get a few more levels, but we can do that. But the other thing that I don't have is phantom membrane, because I've been sleeping through every night. So for the next couple nights, I'm gonna stay awake and hopefully some phantoms spawn. I would have liked to use my looting sword to hit them, but since we don't have that anymore, I guess we'll have to figure it out. And then I can make some slow falling potions, and then it's about time to head out and find the end fortress. So this is my second night of being awake so far. I'm up to 15 levels, which is pretty good, and I've been doing some trading. But I'm thinking maybe we should go down into the caves. I really want to find a spawner of some type to turn into an XP farm. If we're going to fight the dragon and we don't even have an XP farm, that's kind of embarrassing. So I might kill some of these mobs and then go down into these caves over here and see what I can find. I could also mine some skulk. I've pretty much mined out most of the skulk in the other cave at this point, but I do remember the cave under this having a lot. So I might dig down over here and get back into that cave and see if I can get some more of that. Yep, there's the cave. This is probably a bad idea. I don't think I explored in here last time. I think I just fell all the way down there. So maybe let's look in here. Hello? Leave me alone! Wait a minute. Wait a minute? Is that mossy cobblestone? Okay, 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 okay. If it is, the monsters are gonna come for you. Is this where all the skeletons are coming from? Nope, it's zombies. Oh god, nope, that's a child, that's a child. Oh god, there's two children. No, absolutely not. I think we are safe and yep, it's a zombie spawner. Ooh, we got a name tag and a golden apple. I will take that, I think I need it. And 13. Well, that didn't take me as long as I thought it would to find a spawner. I guess I never really looked down here, so I didn't really know that there wasn't a spawner. I think I'm gonna dig a staircase up from here to see where we end up on the surface because I don't wanna have to go down through the cave every single time. Oh my gosh, finally dirt. Well, that explains why it took me so long to dig up. Well, it's daytime again, so I'm gonna do a little bit more trading and getting my farmer up to the golden carrot stage and then let's make a mob farm. Golden carrots. And we do have one block of packed dice for this farm that I bought from a wandering trader a very long time ago, so I guess it is gonna come in handy now. So let's get everything we need. We're gonna take our ice block, make a hopper, get some carpet. I need to grab my soul sand from the storage house down there. And it doesn't look like I have any kelp, so I'll need to get some of that as well. Hello, Mr. Horse. All right, that should be more than enough. So let's head back and start working on this farm. Ow. Oh, okay, well, we have phantoms. Can't you see I'm doing something? Thank you. And we have a phantom membrane. I'm gonna set it right in here for now, and then let's go make our farm, and we'll come back up and brew some potions. And now at least we can finally sleep through the night again. I came back up to the surface to get some wood to make signs because I forgot signs because I always forget something. And there's another wandering trader and he has small drip leaf, which is probably the only useful thing that this guy could sell. But oh my God, I want that. I'm going to go get my emeralds. 
Yes! And we got 10 out of that. Considering I still have not found a lush cave somehow, that's pretty awesome. Okay, now I have wood, I made my purchase, let's get back to the farm. Okay, now the scary part. Oh god. Okay, let's see if it works. And he died. I think that's just because I hit them before. If not, I might have to raise it up one. Okay, they're alive. And it seems to be working. Okay guys, we have successfully built our zombie grinder. And it seems to be working really well. They're dropping the right amount, they're dying super quickly, and I think I can get a lot of levels pretty fast. However, this room is very ugly, and that just won't do. So I'm gonna go up back to the surface, grab a bunch of supplies, make it pretty, kill some zombies, and hopefully add in a drop chute and a water elevator to get back to the surface much quicker than the stairs. The room is looking much better. It's a little empty here in the center, but I'm going to get some more carpets to kind of fill it up. I've got all the important stuff down here. I'll probably add some more chests for storage. And we have our water elevators and our drop chute. Now we're almost at level 30, so I'm going to kill these guys. Okay, we're so close. I'm going to sit down here for a little bit longer, get some levels, get up to probably level 33 or 36, so we can do some enchanting on our sword and our helmet. Okay guys, we're at level 36 now, and I went ahead and healed up all of my tools with mending on them, so let's go try and enchant this sword and this helmet and see what we get. Hopefully it's not nighttime. It's about to be. Hello, Sir Whiffington. Okay, not great. Aqua Affinity. Let's try that. Perfect, we can just throw unbreaking and mending on that and get respiration at some point. Let's try one more time with the sword. Sweeping Edge 3. And smite four. Okay, that's not that bad. We still need to get looting on it and we could bump it up to smite five, but I think that's a pretty good sword. So let's head back over to the villagers, get some unbreaking and mending thrown on this stuff, get some golden carrots, and then we can come back and make our potions and then I think we're ready to go. Okay, we've got the books and we have we have right over a stack of golden carrots. I'm also probably going to grab a stack of potatoes or some other food just to have some backup, but that should be enough. So let's go make our potions. And this time I want strength too, which means we have to go back to the nether really, really quick and get some glowstone. And there's some right there, but it does look like it's above a lava lake. Got our slow falling and potions of strength too. Let's make some rockets, which might be optimistic, but if we do get an elytra, I want to be able to fly around and explore. I've got my building blocks, I've got all my potions, some extra wood, I've got my eyes of ender. Sir Whiffington, wish me luck, I'm off to fight the dragon. I know, I'm scared too, but I'm hoping that I come back for ya. If not, you might be tied to this tree forever and I'm sorry. If I'm forgetting something, let me know, but it's probably gonna be too late. Okay, it's time, let's see which direction we're going. This way. Okay, this is where it went down into the ground, which is kind of unfortunate because it's in the water, but I made this little tube type thing, so we're going to try and dig down from here. Oh, okay. I spy. See if we can find the portal room. Ah, sure. Diamonds. Diamonds! Okay... 
Um, that looks to- ooh, a library, okay. And we got some eye armor trim. And an Unbreaking 3 book, okay? We will come back for these. Sharpness 3, Impaling 4, and another armor trim. Okay, 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 we found it, we found it, we found it. Ooh. And it only has one eye, but that's okay. Well, let's get our stuff sent down. Get our bed, make a chest. Throw this stuff in there for now. Let's get our eyes put in. Alright guys, I think we've got everything we could possibly need. I don't think I can procrastinate this any longer. Just in case you guys were wondering, it is day 233 in this world. So it's been quite a while. We've gotten a lot done, we were definitely taking it slow. But it's time to fight the dragon, get some elytra, and start moving on up in the world. So, okay, I think I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, at least we are in a box. Let's drink this. Let's drink this. Okay. Dude, leave me alone. did it! I will take all of this XP. And I will take this dragon egg. Uh, thank you. Well, you guys, we did it. We fought the dragon and we won. I'm very excited and very relieved. And now we're gonna head back in, get some of our supplies, and then we're gonna go end raiding. Okay, I think I have everything. Let's head back in. And it's right over here. Let me try not to fall into the void. Let's tower up, let's get our ender pearl, and... Okay, we're here. I'm gonna crank my render distance way up. And let's go find an end city. Wait a minute, there's a ship and a pretty big city. I think we can ender pearl across this. Easy. I think we can bridge across this. I'm scared. I hate bridging over the void. We're almost there. Okay, we made it. My thumb hurts. Man, I'm still a little bit bitter about losing my looting sword because that would have been great for shulker shells. But oh well, I think we'll probably still get a lot. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Hello. Ow. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, nice. Not so nice. Okay. Okay, all right. And I don't have silk touch on any tool that I brought with me, so I can't take this ender chest. I might find one later, and if not, I can always make one when we're back home, so I'm just gonna throw this stuff in here for now. I think it's time that we try and get over to this boat and get that sweet, sweet elytra. I'm so excited to be able to fly, finally, if I could hit these guys. And we're in. All right. And we have wings! We have wings! Okay, let's check what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Okay, not terrible. Efficiency 5, Curse of Vanishing. That's fine. And still no Silk Touch. I am going to make a shulker box really quick and start getting things a little more organized. Now let's get this put on. Let's grab the dragon head. And then let's fly off and see what we can find. 
Okay, let's get ready to take our first flight. This feels so much better. I was literally in the air for like two seconds. Oh my gosh, and it's a giant one. Elytra number two. Efficiency five, that's really nice. <gasps> we got a spire armor trim. Ooh, I kind of forgot that armor trims even happen in end cities. I mean, I know it makes sense, but I wasn't even thinking about armor trims. Just a ton of shovels. All right, there's another one. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Yep. Elytra number three. And we're off. Found another one. And another one. Although that one is tiny. Okay, not terrible. Oh. That's a beautiful pick, but it's the same. And it doesn't really look like there's going to be loot here. But there is there. Oh my gosh. We are just lucking out. Finally, some diamonds. Or diamonds. <gasps> Another falling four. We might need to put that on. Ow! Leave me alone! Let's make an anvil. 11 levels, but we will have Feather Falling 4, and I think we need those. Okay, I feel moderately safer now. This is stressful. Okay, that was an oopsie, but at least we have Feather Falling. More diamonds. Still no Silk Touch. Everything is fine, everything is fine, everything is fine. Everything is fine, everything is fine. We've eaten a carrot, we've eaten a carrot, we've eaten a carrot. Another feather falling four. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, another spire armor trim. Some great boots. Another one. Oh my god, okay. We found one and it was hiding. Oh, thank god. We're back. We've got all our stuff. Let's see if I can find my way out of here. Actually, maybe I should grab some books while I'm here too. We do have a whole extra shulker box and I do need to grab the loot. Whoops. I do need to grab the loot that I left in here as well. And I do have an anvil. Maybe I should just put that on breaking three book on my elytra right now. That would probably be smart. Yeah. Now that we have an elytra, we should probably make an actual sugarcane farm, which means I get to play around with redstone, something that you guys haven't really seen me do at all yet, but I promise I am moderately capable of following a tutorial on redstone. Okay, well I have not found the surface, but I did find a completely different library, and another armor trim, and smite 4, we can make smite 5 now, and respiration 3, oh my god, dude, well that worked out well. We, that's pretty much the only thing we needed on our helmet, and I didn't know how I was going to get it. I was going to have to change another villager, but there we go. Very, very convenient. And, oh my god. Okay, this is the most enchanted books I've ever seen in one chest. Let's look at them one by one and see what we've got. Fortune 2, Piercing 4, Efficiency 4 and Smite 4, Efficiency 4 and Power 4, Smite 4 and Efficiency 4, and Fire Protection 3. Okay, I mean, those aren't like the best, but that's a lot of enchanted books. Have you guys ever seen that many enchanted books in a, in a library chest before? Let me know. And another armor trim. Oh my god, we found it. Well, that was quite the adventure, but we have survived. Man, it's crazy to see all of this from the air now. And we're pretty much almost there. There's our village. It looks so cool. We did it! Sir Withington! Sir Withington! Hello! Howdy, partner. I made it back! I didn't die! I fought the dragon and I won! Well, that's a huge relief. I mean, honestly, we could die at any second. You know, falling down a hole or something like that. But honestly, we're pretty geared up now. We've gotten elytra, we got feather falling on our boots. So that helps a lot with the issues I have of just falling through random holes in the ground and landing way too far down. Now we can start getting into some serious building projects. I want to revamp this whole area because I'm going to put some farms there. I do want to fly around the top of those mountains real quick though. Just because I can. Look at this, you guys. And the moon's coming up. It looks gorgeous. It's funny because I feel like I've done a whole lot in this world, but from up here, it doesn't really seem like I've accomplished a whole lot. And also, I like how the entities are gone so you can't see my cows and my sheep. They're still there. 
I hope. But all right, guys, we did it. We fought the dragon and we won. We've gotten a ton of great stuff. I'll organize it between episodes and consolidate everything so I can let you know all the important things we got and then upgrade our gear and our tools, make sure everything is absolutely wonderful. We're still at 49 levels, even though we lost some with our on-the-go enchanting and combining in the anvil. But yeah, I'm super excited that we beat the dragon. And as you can see, I just combined all of my tools and armor to make really OP gear. I organized everything from the end. I got a new bow that has power 5 on it so that we won't be struggling so much when we're shooting things anymore. And in a second, I'll show you everything that we still have left from the end. But today is Trash Tries Redstone. The keyword in this is tries because I'm not the best at redstone. I'm okay at following a tutorial, but we really need to get some farms going. Now that we have an elytra, I'm going to need a bunch of rockets so I can go exploring. And I've only got two left at the moment, and that's just not going to cut it. So today we're going to try and make a creeper farm and a sugarcane farm. And this is everything I have left. I have a ton of armor trims, a bunch of elytra that I still have to get mending and unbreaking on, a ton of sugar shells, and a ton of diamond gear and tools. And I put respiration on my helmet, so that's great. I have feather falling on my boots. I also organized all of my chests up here and put a bunch of stuff down into my storage room. You know, the storage room that I built to store stuff that I wasn't really using very much. I moved everything down into here, so that's all looking great now. And look at all my books that I have. So before we get into actually building the farms in this section, I need to do a lot of terraforming. I don't want this to be like completely flat, but I do need to cover up all of the giant gaping holes that are in it and level it out a lot so I can actually start building farms here. So we're gonna do that now, after I harvest this bamboo again. Alright guys, I may have went a little bit overboard, but everything is very smoothed out now. And we have a nice clean slate to start building our farms on. This took me a lot longer than I would like to admit. Now I think we're going to work on the creeper farm first, which means that we need to get some cats. Luckily, we have that village over there that keeps spawning a bunch of cats, so that shouldn't be too hard. But we don't have any fish in order to tame the cats. So I've been talking about putting a little dock down here to put our boat next to, so I think I'm going to extend this path down real quick, build a little dock, get some fishing done, and get a whole bunch of fish, and then we can start taming some cats.
Okay, the dock is done, the path is done. It's kind of a simple design. I think it will serve its purpose well. So I'm gonna go find my fishing rods. I know I have a couple, I'm not sure what's on them, but I'm gonna go see what I have, maybe do some combining, and then we can get fishing. Okay guys, we fished for a while. We have 19 raw salmon and 39 raw cod. So let's go see if we can find a couple cats. I've seen them hanging around in this village like multiple times, so hopefully a couple are still in the vicinity. Here, kitty kitty. A kitty! They have heeded my call. Do not run off the cliff. Yes, okay, 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 we've got one cat, one cat down. Cat, 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 Two cats, okay. Shh, shh, kitties, it's okay. Come here. Oh, yes! Make a kitty! Ah, a baby kitten! So, we've got our four little children's here. I'm gonna go chop down a couple more trees, get all the rest of the supplies, and then we can start building a creeper farm. Okay guys, so I think that I have everything from the farm. It's all in here. Not that cool or obviously. Um, none of these are exact amounts. I'm following a tutorial by Blaze Dude on YouTube, so you could look it up if you want. It's just called Minecraft Easy Creeper Farm. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I don't need a ton of gunpowder. This is a single player world, so let's see how this goes. All right guys, so the inner workings of the farm is now done. And then I do have this little room down here, even though I always struggle to get down the scaffolding where all of the gunpowder should collect. It's not too fancy, but it's not a dirt box either. And everything should go in here. Oh, we got some dirt. Now I'm just working on getting the cats inside. I got the first two in already. The outside is still very ugly, but we're gonna do something about that in a second before we turn the farm on so we don't accidentally blow the whole thing up. So let's get this cat inside. Come on in, kitty. And now we just have one more cat to go. No, come here. I don't know why you're running away. Okay, now before we turn this on, we're gonna do a little bit more decorating just so it doesn't look like a spruce box. I know this is kind of silly because it's just a creeper farm, but I don't like having ugly things in my world. Now, I believe moss block would block light just as much as any regular block would, so I think I'm gonna replace this with a moss roof just so it looks a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna continue to put slabs at this level as well. And we're already out of moss, so I'm gonna go to my secret moss cave, not to be confused with a lush cave, just this hole in the ground that I've been slowly destroying and get some more. Okay, I think everything is set up now. Gotta eat this potato. Let's remove the lights. I'm gonna grab all of this stuff really quick, get a little bit organized, go get a few last finishing touches for the outside so it doesn't look quite so plain. And then we're going to go up to an AFK spot, sit there for a little bit, and we'll see what we get. I've managed for so long not to get voluntary exile. Hello, cow friends. Great, and now it's raining. Cows, hello, thank you. 
Okay, it's looking a lot better. It's still pretty plain because we don't have windows to put on it, but we will get that soon and then that'll make it look a whole lot better. I'm gonna get on the roof really quick, go up from the middle and make an AFK spot. It's probably gonna be really, really high up. And I guess I probably should have lit up the surrounding area as well with my hidden lighting, but it's not nighttime yet. So let me just see if this is working at all. Okay, I have been standing up here for almost a full day sort of. So I'm going to fly down. Yep, I have my electron. I'm going to fly down and see if there's anything at all. Wee. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. We already have 19. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I'm going to take that right now actually and use it to make rockets because I have three. Okay, let's try and fly back up there. Oh, okay. We made it. So I did absolutely hate how it looked with the torch flowers and the red mushrooms, so I replaced them with some different white flowers and added a bit of glow lichen to the front. I think that looks a lot better. As soon as I finished it, I was like, I hate this. Anyway, I've been AFK up in the glass bubble in the sky for quite some time now, so we're gonna go see how much gunpowder we've gotten. Okay, about three and a half stacks. That's not bad at all. I was probably AFK for around an hour, I would say. Anyway, we're going to make Sir Whiffington a new home and we're going to make a sugarcane farm. I think we're going to work on making the sugarcane farm first because we need it running while we're building Sir Whiffington's home so we can start to build up some actual sugarcane. I do have a couple extra stacks so that'll be helpful, but we definitely need to get this going. Hello. You do have a mangrove propagule. I mean, I'll probably find that if we go exploring next episode, because I would love to find a mangrove swamp, but just in case we don't have one anywhere near us, I should probably buy one of these. I will take one of those. Okay, now I think I'm going to put the sugarcane farm over in this area right here. Now, I'm not following any sort of tutorial for this sugarcane farm. I've made a bunch of sugarcane farms in my life. It's probably the one redstone thing that I actually know how to do. But I'm not referencing anything specific. I just kind of hopefully remember how to do this. Okay, so I've got my waterlogged stairs. I'm using moss to plant the sugarcane on because I think it looks nicer. So let's just get this place down in here. Gonna grab our pistons and our observers, and then we've got our extra building blocks here. And actually, instead of deep slate, I think I'm going to use spruce. Get our pistons on this layer, and then get our observers on this layer. And that is what we put our redstone on. Let's see if this side works. Oh, okay, it worked. Okay, after struggling with the collection system for way too long, I think I have it all figured out now, so let's see if this guy works. It looks like it does! Okay, so honestly, this was not too bad to build at all. It took me probably like, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes? to get it all set up and going and most of that was messing with that part. So I think we should tile it and maybe put another one right here. Okay, so we've got the second farm in now. I did put a space between these because I didn't know if the redstone would interfere with each other and then they would just be firing all the time. I have no idea. I don't really want to find out. Like I said, redstone scares me, but these seem to be working. We've already got 13 in this one, so I think it's fired once already. I am going to put glass over the front so that nothing can escape from either end and some lights up top. But I think right now I'm going to go get some stuff and then I'm going to build a cute little building around these.
Okay guys, so the sugarcane farm is done. It's all decorated. I think it turned out pretty cute. It kind of looks like a little barn, which I like. It looks a little bit different in style to our creeper farm, which I'm not really sure how I feel about that. The creeper farm just bothers me because it's so ugly, but I think this one turned out super cute. But let me know what you think. So now that should keep producing while we work on Sir Withington's house, which is great. We'll come back and check it in a little bit and see how much we've got. But I think we're in a super good place now as far as rocket production goes, so that makes me pretty happy. Also, look how cute our new little farms look from up here. I'm so excited that we're actually starting to fill this area in now. Okay, Sir Withington, stand by. Your home is on its way. Okay, Sir Whiffington. Oh, thank you for the seed. I have made you a house. You are officially free, Sir Whiffington. My good and loyal friend, Sir Whiffington. This is your new place to stay. You have plenty of room to sniff. You've got all of these grass blocks to sniff. I put some of your favorite flowers in here for you. And then inside your little house, which I think you can fit through here just fine, you have a little bed to sleep on. You've got a water dish. You've got a food bowl. You have everything you could possibly ever need, Sir Whiffington. Do you like it? I expected a larger castle. Yeah? But this shall do for now. Well, you're welcome. I know it's not a whole house like the goat's house. Arguably, they have a nicer house, but I like having Sir Whiffington up here with me so I can keep an eye on him. He is pretty much my best friend in this world, but don't tell the others that I said that. And I just think it's so cute. He's kind of like a big old dog. A big, giant, fluffy, prehistoric dog. So, I hope- Oh, we have a visitor. So, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if Sir Whiffington's house is good enough for Sir Whiffington. Nope, this is Sir Whiffington's place. Please leave. Yeah, you don't have anything I want. Stay away from- Nope, do not go in Sir Whiffington's new house. Oh my god. Sir Whiffington, close your eyes. Okay, Sir Whiffington, everything is fine. I got rid of those nasty little trespassers. I'm going to go put everything else that I have away, and then let's go check and see how much sugar cane we have so far. 47 in this chest, and over a stack in this chest. Now we've just got one more thing to do this episode before we wrap it all up, and that is name our kitty cats that we've got left, the ones on the outside of the creeper farm. Okay, for our first name, we have Romeow. And for our second one, we have... Private Whiskers. Let's see, I think you look like a Romeo, and you look like a Private Whiskers. We're gonna move you up closer to the house so you can scare any creepers that might be lurking around. I'm gonna go AFK for a while and get everything built up so we can go exploring next episode, and we built Sir Whiffington a cute little house finally, so he's not tied to the tree anymore. I'm sorry I left him tied to the tree for that long. Today we're gonna go exploring. I'm so excited! We finally get to see everything that's around our base. I've been waiting until I got an elytra to really look and see what else we have around us. Between episodes, I AFK'd at the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm a little bit more and I got a ton of rockets. Now I also want to do a map as we're flying around so I do have this empty map right here and I'm gonna center it on our house. Hopefully it's somewhat in the middle. Okay I do have other maps so I can make a smaller one if I want to put one up to decorate but I think for now let's go ahead and zoom this one out as much as it can be zoomed out and okay let's look at it. Oh we're way up in the corner. It looks like the sun is about to set, so maybe we should wait and leave in the morning. Let's say goodbye to Sir Whiffington. Hello, Sir Whiffington. Hello. I'm off to explore the world. So you're just going to leave me here? No, I'll come back. You, you don't have to be upset. Now let's just sit here and watch this beautiful sunset. Okay, that's enough of that. A new day has dawned. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in this hand for now. Remind me to put my shield back on. Let's go this way. 
we have yet another village. Interesting. And another one. I don't know, I've lost count of how many villages we have. Like, just right close to our house on this seed. It seems like we have a ton. It's gotta be more than ten at this point. Ooh, ice. Ooh, a lot of ice. Ah! Is this blue ice? Got my silk touch pick. Let's see what this is. It is blue ice. Okay, well... Ow! Oh! I guess there is a garden. Oh, yeah, there's an entire guardian temple right there. Is that, a, is that a shipwreck inside of the ice right there? It is. Ah! I've never seen a shipwreck inside of a glacier like this. Um, they obviously messed up when they were on their little shipping journey. Let's see if there's anything good. Okay. Not really. Frankly, I have plenty of all of that. I will take this ice, though. And we've made it back to our home. Okay, we've done one entire loop. I didn't see anything incredibly interesting. I do want to fill in the middle of this map, but I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I think I might make another map, go off the map this way and make another map and fill out that one. So let's go over there. And then once I'm off this map this way, I will make a new map. Oh, it's our first new biome. We finally found a swamp. It's a pretty small swamp, but it's still a swamp. And this swamp has my favorite flowers in the entire game. I'm so excited. I love these. Wait a minute. I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. A frog. Oh my God. Hello. They're so cute. I do wish that they put like the green ones in swamps. I feel like that would make more sense. These don't look like swamp. There's so many of them. There are so many frogs. I want a frog. I'd love to make a frog light farm at some point. I have never done that. It seems terrifying because you have to go into a bastion and use the magma spawner. Um, that scares me, but I think frog lights are so cool. Woo! Okay, this area is pretty freaking cool. And we have a mega taiga. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. Look at what we found! Yee! Oh, oh, I'm in the water. Okay. Ignore that. My elytra skills are very smooth. Look at what we finally found! I'm so excited! How far down do you think it's gonna be? Do you think that this is safe? Ah! Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, there's a creeper down there. Do I have buckets? I have three buckets. That means I can get an axolotl if I see one. They're probably gonna be down there. There's a ton of tropical fishies. I'm trying to find a safer bit. Okay, this seems slightly better. And there's some spore blossoms that I'm obviously gonna grab. Ha ha! A thank you. A thank you. Obviously, I need to get some of these, but most importantly, I want these. A thank you. A thank you. A thank you. Luckily, there does seem to be a ton of the mini ones, and I just love them. Okay, well, I am down here. Let me get this organized again. And then I am gonna grab a ton of this clay. I like bricks and I use them very often, but mostly I want them for flower pots and the new bigger pots. That's kind of my priority. So I am going to grab a ton of that. This is the only time when I don't like that my shovel has silk touch, but I guess it will save on inventory space. Okay, I think that that is probably an appropriate amount of clay. That's probably more than I will ever use. All I want is an axolotl. That's all I want. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's okay. We can handle this. We can handle this. This is fine. This is fine. Well, it's cool that we found a zombie spawner, but I was not expecting that. And a silk touch book. All right. And let's see what's in here. Nothing really that great. Let's grab these. Okay, well, that's cool that we have this here. We're probably never going to see it again. Now, where are my axolotls? Wait a minute. Is that another spawner? Oh, it's a spider. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Why are there so many? All right. Let's see what's here. Unbreaking three and sweeping edge one. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of enchanted books. There are two enchanted golden apples in here. Two! In a, a looting two book, which is great. We need that for our sword. I wish it was looting three, but I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Two enchanted golden apples. Okay, yeah, Um, I'm definitely taking those. I mean, all, all right. Let's 
get this organized. Um, I'm gonna put those in here for now. We have our normal golden apples. Hopefully I don't regret that decision, but I don't really see us needing an enchanted golden apple. I think that's more for when we try and fight the warden or something. Okay, well, that was an awesome find. Still not an axolotl, but... <gasps> Hello! Where'd you go? Are you in here? Hello, come here. <gasps> yes. Okay, we have an axolotl. It is kind of the ugliest axolotl, no offense to the axolotls, but uh, the brown ones are not really my favorite. But we've got one. Let's go back up where we came through and see if we can find any more. Oh my god, oh my god. Hello. <gasps> and a pink one. Oh my god, okay, okay. Now the axolotls are here, guys. They're here. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes. And you. Come here. And I think that's another brown one. We'll leave you here. So now we have a pink one, an orange one, and a brown one. And I think we can breed them with tropical fish and probably get the other colors. I'm not sure, but I think we can. So I think our three axolotls are a great start to our axolotl pond. Okay, now that we have axolotls and moss and clay and spore blossoms and glow berries, I think we have everything that we could possibly need. So let's go ahead and get back out of here and continue on our adventure. Okay, we made it out. Okay, can we fly through this or is it just not loading in? Uh, no, we can fly through this. Let's try not to get shot by that skeleton. This is pretty cool. Oh, oh, we have an ice spikes biome. This seed is very interesting. I feel like we have a lot of broken up stuff like this. This must be the back side of our house where we live. Oh, yep, these are our mountains. And there's our house. Okay, guys, we made it back from our second map. And let's see what we've got. We've got a ton of clay, a ton of moss, a whole bunch of enchanted books, two enchanted golden apples, a ton of rooted dirt, ice, glow berries, finally. Of course, our axolotls. We literally, we made out like bandits, guys. Excuse me. Who do you think you are? If I put these in here, will he, will the axolotls attack him? Should I kill him in advance? Okay, just in case. Axolotl, a number one. Axolotl, a number two. And axolotl number three. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Okay guys, I'm gonna empty out my shulker boxes real quick and get everything put away. And then I wanna fly off that direction. I know the desert's over there in the mesa, but I wanna go a little bit further into the desert and see if we can find a camel. And I think we'll wait for the rain to leave before we go on our next adventure. And while we're here, I am gonna put that looting book on my sword real quick. 11 levels is a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. Okay, it's a bright sunny new day. The rain is gone. Let's head off this direction. There's our coral reef and our mesa. Although this is definitely, I think, a different part of the mesa than we were at last time. Because I don't recall seeing an exposed mine shaft. I may as well take these rails since I do plan on making more farms. I do believe it is time for another map. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, we're definitely in a new map. Let's keep exploring. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We have found dark oak and a bamboo jungle. And there's another lush cave down there. Okay, well, this is nice to know where it is. I don't think I'm going to take any time to get dark oak right now. We do have saplings at home, but I can always come right back over here and get some more if I need any. So that's nice to know where it is. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am kind of lost. Not like super duperly, like concerningly lost, but I am lost. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Well, okay. I did not expect to find this. Okay, so I'm terrified to be honest, but I mean, it came out of nowhere. This seems like a great opportunity to do it. I definitely need to put my chest plate on before we go in there. I have a bow, I have a sword, I have food. I think we should take it on. So let's do it. Now we could just go in from the top and work our way down. I do see an evoker right there, which I'm kind of terrified about, but we could try and kill him as fast as possible. I don't think he can see me through the glass. So maybe we just try and break a piece of glass and kill him. Do you think we can, oh God, there's more in there. Do you think we could do this? Oh god. Oh no. Maybe we should leave. Maybe we should leave. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, I think we're safe. Okay, well, oh no. Oh god. Can you just die? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Okay. You guys, this is not going well. You know what? I'm gonna put this on. I'm not fly if I can escape. 
and try and despawn them. They should be despawned, right? They despawn, right? Let's try this again. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, 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 okay. We got a totem of undying. Honestly, I should probably put that on instead of my shield. Okay, 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 okay. We got that guy too. Okay, I'm gonna run away again. Okay, this is actually not going terribly. I just want to take out that other evoker before he spawns anything. And we didn't hit him once. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, 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 okay. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terrified, I'm terrified, I'm terrified. But we got two more totems. Oh god. I need to get my chest plate back on. Sir! Oh my god. Ooh, okay, there's stuff up here, there's stuff up here, there's stuff up here. There's a diamond chest plate and another name tag. Okay, I didn't even know diamond chest plates were in the loot table for these places. Overall, I mean, this is going better than I expected it to go, I suppose. We killed him before he spawned them. I did not expect him to just be waiting around the corner like that, but another totem of undying. Okay, let's go back down to the first level that we ran away from in fear last time. Oh god, I was just about to say, but we're braver now. That's a lie. Maybe we should go this way first. I mean, I can see they have a grow room and there are some weeds in here. Interesting. Okay, let's go back and do the final side. See, now this is just weird. This is a weird room to have. I mean, I will take these because this is 28 dark oak saplings. I am pretty sure there's something in this guy's head. Oh, there's lapis blocks. I wish it was diamond, but I will take the lapis. Is it just one? Just one lapis block? That just, that just does not seem like an appropriate prize. It should at least be like four lapis blocks, surely. Okay, another super weird room with a broken anvil. Yet another pumpkin room. Yet another dark oak sapling room. Let's see how many are in here. Oh, is that another 28? Does it always have 28? Well, we have more than enough dark oak saplings now. And then the chest room that all of the chests are empty. I already know this. I cannot be fooled. However, I do hate making chests, so I might honestly just grab all of these really quick as soon as I make sure that there are no other mobs. I think I'm just gonna take all of the chests from this room, because if there's one thing I hate doing, it's using my wood on chests. Alright, well, we got 26 chests out of that, so that's something. Okay, and then there is one other room over here that I guess is technically like a secret room because it's through here and we probably wouldn't have even known that it existed. Whoops, if that creeper hadn't blown up the wall. Speaking of creepers, this is also a very weird room. Is that, is that a one block tall dark oak or I guess one block wide, whatever you want to call it? That's actually kind of weird. Has anybody ever noticed that before? That's weird. They don't, they don't grow that way. Is this their like weird secret room with their broken dark oak tree that shouldn't exist? I don't know. Okay, well, honestly, I, I think that that was everything. I think that was the entire mansion. I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna get everything organized really quick, and then we may as well finish the rest of the map that we were working on last episode and see if we find anything else crazy. And then we are heading back home. Well, that was crazy and I didn't expect it, but we did it. We survived a woodland mansion raid. Oh wait, this is where we got dirt. So our house is actually right over here. And home sweet home. Okay, well, we were actually closer to home than I thought. The Woodland Mansion is up there in the corner. Let's see what we've got. We have five whole totems of undying now, guys. That's literally crazy. I'm gonna get everything organized that we got and then everything put away. And then I do think I'm gonna make a cute little glowberry farm real quick, as well as put some glowberries on our builds because I've been waiting to have glowberries for forever. Okay, so I've got all my supplies and I'm thinking I'm gonna put the glowberry farm like in this area here. So I'm gonna get that done now. Okay guys, I made a little glowberry farm. I'm gonna go get some bone meal and actually grow some glowberries on there so that it looks adorable and also so I can get glowberries. I kind of actually detailed this whole part out now. So now the path just goes to the glowberry farm and I put in a little flower bed with some bushes. So I feel like this part actually looks a lot more complete now. And then I also used our small drip leaf 
in this pond over here and finally put some lily pads in here. I've been meaning to detail this up some more for a while now, but I haven't gotten around to it. And now that I have these little tiny drip leaves, they're so cute and some lily pads, this place looks so much more adorable. I still kind of want to add like flowers and bushes around the edge, but that's a future me problem. So I got a ton done between episodes and I filled in the rest of the maps that we were exploring and two other maps. So let me show you guys what I found. All of these little white markers that I put down, these are all the villages around me. As you can see, there are a ton of them. And honestly, I ran out of banners when I was putting them on, so I think there's even more than that. These two are not villages. They're actually jungle temples that I found that I'm going to go back and explore in a second. That's our woodland mansion up there. And this one is a pillager tower that I found. I haven't checked the loot in this one or these two, so we're going to go back and do that in just a second. I'm going to go sleep real quick, and then we have another job to get done really fast. And that job is to name our axolotls. So Peanut is the brown one. Come here, Peanut, 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 Peanut. Butter is the yellow one. And Jelly is the pink one. So now we have Peanut Butter and Jelly. Okay, now I'm going to take this map and this map with me. And we are going to go on a little exploration real quick and see if we can't find some more armor trims. So let's head off and see what we can find. And here is the pillager tower, which at least that's good to know where it is. I'm gonna try and land on the top so I don't have to, f oh God, there's people up there. Okay, and let's see what we get. Nice. Okay, sentry armor trim and there's two of them. That's another armor trim, you guys. And some otherwise very boring loot, but I guess we'll take it. That one was easy enough. Now we have to go back in the opposite direction and find these jungle temples. We're coming up on the first one. It is right here. You can see my little banner. Oh, okay. That's one way to get in there. I'm gonna light this up just in case. And let's see what we get. Nice try. Nice. Got two wild armor trims and a bunch of bones and some gold. Not too exciting, but we got two more armor trims. Let's see what we've got in this one. Just a bunch of gold. I mean, I'll take it. And I want these sticky pistons also. One down, that was not bad at all. We got some armor trims and let's go fly off to the next one if I can get out of here without crashing into bamboo and killing myself. Looks like it is off this away. There it is. Ow, ow. Just in case anybody is wondering, I am on day 358 in this world already, which is pretty awesome, and I definitely did not think that I would survive this long. Obviously, having totems of undying, even though they are not in my hand at the moment, and they probably should be, helps a lot and makes me feel a lot more secure. Now, where is this entrance? We're just gonna break in, because I'm impatient. And let's see what we've got in here. Nice, two more. Okay, so we have four wild armor trims now. I need to trim my armor out more, but I want to get netherite before I do that, just so I can get like the final design and know what kind of trim I want on it. Which, spoiler alert, that might be what we're doing next. Oh, two more. Oh, okay, awesome. Now we have six. Okay, those were some awesome finds. Now home is back down in this corner. Also, look how cool this mountain looks. If you guys are using this seed, this is awesome. I just wanted you to know about this. Like, look at this. Ooh, there's iron. Actually, I should get some iron because I'm running low. So I'm going to grab some of this really quick and then we can fly on home. We got like three and a half stacks in just a couple minutes. And I think that will hold us over until we can actually build an iron farm. So I'm going to head back on home now. I'm going to jump off the tip of this mountain and we need to head this away. So let's go. And we're home. Let me get everything put away and start getting my iron smelting up real quick. Now to find ancient debris, I'm thinking I'm going to use TNT, which means I'm going to head back over to that desert that's by the mesa and get a bunch of sand going. And then I'll need to AFK above the gunpowder farm for a little bit because I've already used up all my gunpowder on rockets exploring and filling out the maps. So I think I'm going to head out to the desert right now and get a whole bunch of sand. Wait a minute. That's another pillager tower. I don't think that this is one that I've raided. Nice, okay, we got two more and I guess some wood and potatoes. I don't really need any of that, but we got two more armor trims. Okay, I probably should have brought my map and I'm kind of lost, but there's a bunch of sand right here. So I'm just gonna grab all of this. Diamond spoon go burr. We have over half of this shulker box filled. I think that should be enough. I really don't know. I never actually make TNT. I usually do this with beds, but I thought I would try something new for this. So I guess if we need more, we can always come back. There's some more sand. Still not a desert. Maybe I'll take some of this as well. Okay, shulker box is now full. That's much better. 
now we can go home. Okay guys, I'm back. I have kid for a while and I made about half a stack of TNT, which is not going to be enough for what we're going to need to do. So I sheared a bunch of sheep and got a bunch of wool and wood so I can make beds as well. And now I'm just down here getting up to 30 levels so I can enchant my golden helmet because I'm not sure really what happened to my last golden helmet. I thought I had it with me. It does not appear to be. I looked at all my stuff and I can't find it. Maybe it broke. I don't know. I don't remember, but we're going to enchant a new one. Fire protection four. Well, that should be perfect. And unbreaking three. That's pretty much everything I could possibly need for the nether. Oh God, we're back. Now, this is where I normally go. I've never seen a bastion that way. Both of my nether fortresses are over there. I might try and go this way. Man, I really need to get soul speed. All right, guys. Oh God, there's already lava. Okay, well, wish me luck. Okay, well, I ran through that tunnel for a long time and then it just kind of popped out on a giant lava lake. So we're gonna go back the other way. Y'all see any bastions around here? Cause I don't. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I am already... Oh, I'm already terrified. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I know absolutely nothing about Bastion, so I have no idea which one this is or if it's good or not. How do I get into the Bastion? I feel like there's staircases and stuff. What's in here? Oh, lava. Lava is what's in there. Um, let me drink some of this while I'm thinking about it. Okay, I guess I'll go this way. I don't know. I hate bastions. You guys, what do I do? Do I just try and get down there without dying and then escape? I feel like I came in at like the worst angle for this. Look, I can see the chest right there and I feel like that's probably the chest that the upgrade is in. Oh God, there's another brute up there too. And they're all gonna run down at me, aren't they? Am I at the top? Okay, okay. Everything seems chill. There's a brute right there. Oh God, and a bunch more down there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna make a new staircase and I'm gonna go down and try and get down below where the actual thing is. I know, I know you guys probably want me to loot this whole thing, but I'm not trying to die. I just want the upgrade template and I have a real strong feeling it's probably in that chest. Oh my god, I can see the chest. It's right there. Okay, can I make like a nice safe tunnel? I am terrified. It's literally right there. They hate me. I know they hate me. I know they're mad at me. All right, y'all. We're making progress. I am literally so close to the chest. Okay, 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 okay. Did we get it? Okay, we got it. There was diamonds in there too, though, and I want the diamonds, but I'm scared to open this because I feel like they're going to be mad at me and they're going to run in here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we got a diamond chest plate with fire protection for a normal diamond chest plate, which I really didn't even need those. I have so much diamond armor, but I got two diamonds and I got the netherite upgrade okay i really do need more diamonds so in order to make the netherite armor i forgot that that i have to duplicate it this is just a, this is a lot of work okay that was too much i want that gold i do um but i'll come back here another time i am out of here i am gonna go look for netherite i might just do it down here because we seem pretty close to the bottom of the world let's just dig down from here oh I take it back. We're gonna go somewhere else. So I am going to build out a little tunnel right here and lay out my TNT because I'm gonna go for that first and see how much we can get with about half a stack of TNT. Hopefully something. Yep, 33 TNT. Let's start laying down some TNT. I'm gonna do it every couple of blocks. Hopefully it'll do like a chain reaction thing. I don't know, I don't use TNT very often. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, first piece. And I don't even have enough inventory space for it. No, I don't want more netherrack. Hidden in the depths. There's another one. Ooh, there's two. Oh my god, there's three. There's three. Heck yeah. <gasps> okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. But there's two more. Okay. Well, I guess that makes me feel better about all of this lava because it's really harsh in my mellow. Okay, we've got eight pieces already. Wait a minute. Oh, hello. Now, while I would like netherite tools, I think that's going to be a little bit out of my reach for a while, probably. 
both because of the netherite and because of the diamonds that I'm going to need to turn all of my tools into netherite. So I think I'm just going to focus on armor, which means we're going to need 16 ancient debris, I believe. So we honestly only need six more, which is not bad at all. This always makes me nervous. I have a totem of undying, so I'm not really too worried, but oh, I'd much prefer TNT. Oh, okay. Well, that worked. Now we just have to get rid of at least some of this fire so we can see what we're working with. Well, there's one. Oh, and there's two. Okay, I think this is our last two that we need. And right when we were getting to the end of our tunnel as well, I do still have more beds, but I'm tired of blowing stuff up. Okay, let's go see and make sure that we have 16. Oh god. Oh. My. God. No. Leave. Me. Uh. Alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to pop a totem. Oh my god. Who would have guessed that that would have been the most dangerous part of this entire expedition? Not me. Okay. We have 16 ancient debris. That better be enough. Okay, thank you. I am getting the heck out of here. We made it home, guys, and we've got 16 ancient debris. I'm gonna throw it in my blast furnace. Excuse me, get out of the goat's house. You better not have been bothering Jimothy and Petunia. Jimothy? Petunia? Are you guys okay? Is that guy bothering you? Yeah, man. Totally. That's what I thought. I killed him, though, so... You're welcome. Okay, 16 netherite scrap. Let me grab my gold. And... Boom four netherite ingots. I think we need netherrack, which I just put away, in order to duplicate it. I don't know, I've never duplicated anything like this before, so I'm not really sure how it works. Let's see. Okay, so we can make two, and then we can make three, four, and five that used every single diamond every last diamond that we even had i just used but we now have enough to turn our armor into netherite armor and i have an extra one so i won't accidentally use that all right guys here we go got our smithing template got our ingot netherite helmet netherite chest plate netherite leggings and netherite boots cover me in debris guys we did it we did it oh my goodness i honestly didn't think that i could do it look how fancy i look okay well at this point i better be unkillable not ancient city unkillable but daily life unkillable today we're going to be focusing on the villagers and locking in some trades before the next update happens so between episodes, I did a little bit of preparation. I grabbed the rest of the beds that we didn't explode when we were getting netherite, and I grabbed a bunch of job blocks to give them. I've got some extra carrots for breeding, and I have some decoration blocks because the village on the outside looks pretty, but the village on the inside is still very lacking. Now, I do have mending villagers. I actually have two mending villagers, so we are all set on mending, which is great, but there are still a few more book trades that I would really like to get from these guys. I think before we do anything else, I'm going to go set these beds down. I might move all of the beds into these two rooms since they're connected and use this room and this room as more trading rooms. This is our farmer room over here. Ignore this iron golem. I'm in the midst of killing him. Now while I'm waiting for more villagers to appear and grow up so they can actually take jobs, I'm going to do a little bit of decoration around here because it's looking pretty plain. All right, this is much better. Now I just need everyone to go to bed so I can get rid of you and then I can close up that ceiling any day now thank you i'm sorry that i had to do that i just did not have a choice awesome okay so now we're gonna wait for them to start making babies which they should start doing soon but while we are waiting let's head around out here hopefully these guys aren't mad at me i'm gonna skirt around them real quick and let's harvest this so we can get some more carrots to throw at them and see if they start making some more babies all right that was like six or seven stacks of carrots so they better be in the baby making mood now yeah you Go make a baby. Oh, we do have a new Fletcher though, and he does have a stick trade, and let's lock him in. Is it you? Yes, it is. Boom, you are locked in. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna run over to our zombie spawner real quick and fill up my shulker box with rotten flesh so that when we do get clerics, we can lock them in right away. Okay, that should be a very strong start. 
to our clerics. So let's head back up. I'm going to get a couple more crops, including pumpkins and melons, because I would like to be able to trade those with the villagers as well. And then I'm going to start working on a couple more fields over there. And you know what? While we're over here, we should say hi to Sir Whiffington. Hello, Sir Whiffington. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, not too badly. Sir Whiffington, who is this? That's just Bob. Did you invite him here? Not really. Is he your new friend? Acquaintance more like. Okay, if you say so, I'll leave him here, but just let me know and I'll get rid of him. You better be paying rent. Ah, oh, Sir Whiffington, he's such a gentleman. All right, I think we're gonna put a field down in this section right here. And I think this one should be our pumpkin field. I'm gonna go buy a couple more lanterns, chop down a tree, and then we'll get another field in. And I was thinking over in this area, we could put a cute little well. We can have the path go kind of around the outside of this and down, and we could probably fit a well right in this area. I think that would look adorable. Okay, I think the well should go right here. So we are just going to do this. Now, I first learned about this well from Fwip. I'm not sure if other people have done it as well, but ever since I saw him do it, I put this well in a ton of my worlds because it's so tiny. So credit to Fwip and whoever else does this well. It definitely was not my invention. All right, this area I think is looking very good. I could definitely add a couple more lamp posts, maybe one right here. Let's throw one right here as well. Now that should be more than lit up. And now over here, I think we should put our melon farm. We'll let these keep growing and slowly fill this field up. I'm going to chop down this tree and remove my platform. Once again, we're going to have to find another place to actually grow our spruce trees, a more permanent place and a more aesthetically pleasing place. And then we're going to put a big field in here as well. Okay guys, the farms are done. We have a bunch of new farms all around our village and they'll start producing shortly, which will give us endless trades. I need to go figure out why the heck the babies are not being made. I don't know if I need to move the beds around more or if there's already too many villagers there or what. And we need to make sure that everyone's trades are locked in. And then once they're locked in, we're gonna wait until it's nighttime. We're gonna find a zombie and we're gonna set him loose in the village. Now that does mean I need to start brewing up some potions of weakness and getting some golden apples so I can convert all of them back. I'm also going to get a lot of boats because I think I'm going to trap them in boats before I turn them into zombies. I just think that that's probably a good idea and it will make the whole conversion thing a lot easier. So I'm going to go and gather a bunch of resources, get my potions, see if I can lock in some trades, and then I will meet you back here and we will find a zombie and unleash him on the unsuspecting villagers. Okay guys, I'm back. It looks a little bit different here now. I dragged out all of the beds into the middle of this square because they weren't recognizing the ones in that room for some reason, and then a bunch of babies were made. I've locked in all three cleric trades, I have three masons behind me, I've got three farmers, I've got some more librarians. I think I pretty much have every villager I could need, and I still have some extra ones as well. So let me show you what I have been up to. As you can tell, things are looking a little bit funky. I kind of boxed them in a little bit, partially because I don't want iron golems to get them when I unleash a zombie in here because they're all going to be scared and I don't want any iron golems to spawn, kill the zombie, or kill any of my villagers. I also made a ton of chest boats so that it would only be one villager per boat. I'm not really sure if that's necessary, but I feel like if there's two in a boat and one of them turns and the other one doesn't, it's just going to turn them back into a zombie into like kind of an infinite spiral. So they are all in chest boats. And I went crazy while I was waiting for them to grow up and I made another farm. 
So this is my giant wheat and beetroot field. Okay, so now we're prepared to zombify all of them, which I am terrified of doing, but we're gonna give it a try. I need to make a bunch of splash potions of weakness, and I have all of the ingredients for that except for the brown mushrooms. So I think I'm gonna fly over to the dark oak forest really quick, and I believe right after, yep, there is the dark oak and there are some mushrooms, so I'm gonna go down to this brown one right here and start getting some. All right, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's start making these potions. While those are getting all brewed up, let's go see how many golden apples we can make. We're going to need a lot. And we have 12. Well, that is a good way to start, I suppose. I'm pretty sure we've got more than 12 villagers. I might need to find some more gold. All right, guys, I am officially a real life Minecraft YouTuber now because I did some mining off camera. I knew I still had some gold in some of the caves around me, so I went and grabbed some of it with my fortune. And now we have 62 more gold, so I'm going to make a couple more golden apples, seven more. So we have 19. That should put us in a much better place. Okay, we have a zombie down there and he is already locked onto me. Let me just take out this creeper real quick so he doesn't get anywhere near us and blow us up. And then, come on guy, we've got a job for ya. Okay, now hopefully he gets distracted and doesn't see me anymore. Oh God, okay. Sir, there are so many victims that would love to meet you. Let's close this up go up here so hopefully he will lose us and then maybe he can start zombifying people did he get distracted oh yeah oh okay sorry we won't watch my poor villagers are just staring at me like why why would you do this it's for the greater good okay he missed a couple but it was really hard to move around in here and he couldn't get to some of them so for the first round i think i'm gonna cure all of these guys that did get hit okay let's start healing here you go here you go here you go as you can see he missed this guy i don't know how he did you escaped sir it's coming for you later but you escaped for now so i think if we throw it right there that should get most of these guys have an apple have an apple have an apple have an apple I'm gonna wait for the first round of curing to be over and then let's see how many we have left. Oh, zombie doctor! We got the advancement and our first guy that has been cured is a Fletcher. Well, it's a little bit of a discount. And you guys are all cured. Our clerics are down to 26, where they were originally 32. You have a one emerald infinity book. And this was our 32 emerald mending book that now has one for seven. So that is quite the discount on mending. There you go, everyone is curing up. As you can see, we missed a few guys over there. Our farmer is cheaper and we got the one pumpkin and one melon. Oh, this guy has healed and he has a one emerald bending. Okay guys, I took down the ceiling and I put the village all back to normal and put their beds back down for them. This was just the first round, but I need to think about a better way to get that done because that was incredibly frustrating. I mean, villagers are always incredibly frustrating, but oh my God. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this week, so I thought we could just do a short, fun episode exploring something that I found when I was flying around and making maps. It's really close to our house, and this is the first one of these that I found in this world, so I'm pretty excited to go take a look at it. But before we do that, I got a lot done in between episodes, and I went over to the Mesa to try and find more gold, and I found a lot of gold so that I could make more golden apples and zombify and then heal my villagers a couple more times. And then let's go over to my village really quick, and I'll show you what I got done there. I harvested and replanted these fields like several times and they're still growing back so fast which meant that I could do a lot of trading with the farmers. I have you know just a few emeralds now. Just a couple emeralds. I have a ton of extra crops even though I did a ton of trading I kept locking them out of their trades so we still have more than enough of that. And I was a little bit more picky on who I chose to zombify this time, so I zombified all of my farmers a couple more times. They have really good trades now. I also zombified and healed these Fletchers a couple times. Same with these, I got this one down to 20, so that's super nice. And then I also got a Looting 3 Villager, and I bought some name tags and actually named them, like this guy is looting now. He got Looting 3, originally for 43, but I took that deal, I locked him in, I zombified him, and now it's just one. And as you 
can see we gave them names so we can tell who they are now it's a lot less confusing in here so yeah i got a ton done okay now i think i have everything that i could need for what we're doing today most importantly this guy right here and if you guessed a trail ruin you are correct so i'm gonna fly over there and let's do this there it is right there as you can see, it was kind of hard to see from the air if you weren't looking for it because literally this is all that sticks out of it. That's it. But I'm super excited to uncover this. So let's get a little station set up here really quick. And then we've got some suspicious gravel right on top here. So let's see what this has got. A block of clay. Not too exciting, but better than nothing. Right, we found our second block of suspicious sand and it looks like it's a glass pane light blue stained glass pane well that's exciting okay third time's the charm and it's burned with a little piece of fire on it that's so cute looks like we can get down in this corner right here and we've got one right there trying really hard not to accidentally break any of them let's see what this one is it was red it was a candle let's see what this one is looks like dye Yep, some light blue dye. Looks like another shard. It is, and it is the heart one. Oh, I love the heart one. And this one is the howl one with the little dog on it. That's so adorable. It looks like we reached another floor right here, but it looks like we can go off in this direction, this direction, and over this direction as well. But for now, let's go off this direction. Okay, looks like we've got one right here, and that looks like magenta stained glass this time. Well, we're getting a lot of funky glass colors. What is that? Ah, <gasps> that looks like an armor trim. Okay, which one is it? Razor armor trim. Okay, well, that's very exciting. Got a new armor trim, guys. What have you got for us? A gold nugget. Is that one up there? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay, it's a good thing that we didn't break that dirt and that is a heartbreak oh so we've got the heart and the heartbreak oh oh wait a minute look at all of these these are all suspicious Ooh, is this like a little treasure room Let's see what this one is looks like it's another shard and it's another of the doggies looks like that one was a lead looks like this one's gonna be some yellow dye see what this one is more blue dye and then we've got this one what is this gonna be oh wayfinder okay so we got two armor trims out of this i'm not sure how many are supposed to be in here or you that you can find in here but we've got two of them this place literally just keeps going and going and it's another shirt gonna be the dog one again it is we're getting so many of the dog one which i'm not complaining i love dogs so oh that's another armor trim is it the same one we already got yes it's another razor one okay what is this what what is this relic okay awesome we got a music disc called relic i didn't even know that that existed but that's amazing it's like we've got two of them hiding over here and we did break our brush so time to go to the next brush that looks like a wooden hoe and that looks like beetroot seeds lovely you all know how much i love beetroot i'm a certified beetroot hater looks like this is another armor trim let's see if it's one that we already have and it's wayfinder again okay i think that this one is all finished now this one is finished this one is finished which means we just have this way to explore now so let's see what we can find over here got another shirt and that looks like another one of our fire ones oh Okay, this is kind of a weird little room. Okay, I think this is just a regular dirt pocket. I don't think this is part of it. Yeah, this just looks like regular dirt. I mean, I'll take it. I always use more dirt. Oh, is this a cave? Uh, we found a cave. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Wait, wait a second. Whoa, that's a skelly spawner. That's a skelly spawner. That's a skelly Let's try and light this up really quick before more spawn. It looks like we made it. You guys, we found a skeleton spawner. And okay, at least there's some iron in this one. There's a little bit of iron in this one. Nothing too interesting. I will come back for this because I've got 
tons of stuff in my inventory right now. I'm going to remember where this is and maybe we can make a skelly farm as well. That would be good. We don't have anything for bone meal quite yet. I am going to head back over where I came from. I'm going to organize everything we found from this place because I believe it is completely cleared out now and then I will show you everything we got from this. Okay guys, I did a little bit of organization and this is everything that we have gotten from this trail ruin. And then this is our kind of miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to pack all of this up and go back to my house really quick and I'll meet you there. So today I plan on making a platform for our trees to grow on so we don't get podzole everywhere. A bamboo farm, a melon farm, and a pumpkin farm. So let's grab this and we'll head down to our little farming district over here and think about where we we want to start setting these up. I'm thinking the pumpkin and melon farms are going to go on this area right here because we have lots of space for it and then I pushed the land back a little bit up on this hill here and I think it would be perfect for our bamboo farm. Okay for the pumpkin and melon farm let's say we'll start with the pumpkin one. I want it kind of in this area. I think I'm going to start from the bottom up and lay down the track first and get that all set up so that I can build the farm on top of it. Okay, I've dug out two 8x8 eight eight squares with this little part for the chest in front. They're not going to be the biggest pumpkin and melon farms. I don't think that we're going to need an insane amount, so this should be more than enough pumpkins and melons to get us through hopefully at least another 500 days. We're on day 459 right now, which means we're getting closer and closer to day 500, and I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so now I'm going to start laying down the rails and get that all situated with the hoppers to the chest, and then we can start making the actual farm. Now we need to start putting our dirt right on top of these rails here and covering this up. I should probably put the mine carts down right now, otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt to put them back later. And let's start getting all this covered. The one thing about making this even numbered means that there's no exact middle to put the water in, so that's not going to be ideal, but I guess we'll just put it right here. I'm going to hoe it all at first and then I'll plant them in a crisscross pattern and the other ground will revert back once the pumpkins start growing. Let's grab our seeds and we're going to plant them diagonally. And then I do have a ton of bone meal because I've been putting all the seeds from harvesting all of the fields over by the villagers. I've been throwing them all in my little composter and I have a large amount of bone meal. So I may as well just bone meal them up really quick and get this farm running as fast as possible. And that one's already grown a pumpkin. I'm going to put down all of the observers first over the vines. And then we can put the pistons on afterwards. I find that that's the easiest way to do it, even though I just misplaced that one. I think we got all of the pistons in, which means that we can now turn the farm on by putting a bunch of redstone on top. So let me grab my redstone really quick. So now I believe we just put the redstone dust directly on top of the observers and that should work. I know that there are other ways to do this, but I've always done it this way and it's been fine. It does fire four pistons at once, but I don't really have a problem with that. I'm going to clear all of these out just to make sure it can start going. So this one is all turned on and going now. So now we just need to do the exact same thing on this side with the melons. So both of these farms are functioning now, which is super exciting. I'm going to get a little bit organized really quick, and then we're going to go ahead and start our bamboo farm. Before we put the outsides on these ones and start building, I want to have everything actually running. And we do have some escapees right there, but as soon as we put walls on it, that will stop. I know that this is a small farm, it's only 10 blocks of bamboo, but it should be more than enough. Bamboo grows really fast. See, look, this one is already growing. It's insane. Okay, I have no idea why that didn't work at 
first, but it looks like it is working now. All of our farms are done, technically speaking, but they are ugly and we're getting some loss from things flying around. So now we need to put some buildings around them. Let's see how many pumpkins. Oh my goodness. And we've got a ton of melons. Okay, both of these are cranking stuff out. So I'm going to go gather some building materials and then let's turn these from this ugliness into some cuteness. Before we do these builds though, I do think our first build is going to be a little tree farm in this area. I kind of want it hidden behind everything. I don't want the trees to grow up in front of any of our cute buildings, so I think we should put it over here. Okay, adorable tiny tree farm done. It's very simple, but I think it's cute and it's a lot better looking than the floating thing that we had before. Now that that's done, let's get into the pumpkin farm. We finished the pumpkin farm build. All of our pumpkins are actually being collected now because they can't escape. So we're basically going to do the exact same design for the melon farm. So they'll be kind of like twins. And then we're going to have green glass and green terracotta instead of the orange. So let's go work on that one now. Okay hey guys, I got the melon farm done. It's looking adorable right next to the pumpkin farm. The roofs did kind of overlap a little. I should have made them a little further apart, but I didn't really want to tear this down and redo it. So I kind of just smushed them together. So hopefully that looks okay. But honestly, I think they both turned out super cute. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think about them. I'm so glad that we have more farms here now that are looking so cute and they're doing very well. I also should probably make a little cactus farm really quick, uh, a better cactus farm than this one but first let's get our bamboo farm done And there's our bamboo farm done. I think it turned out pretty cute. I used some of the bamboo that we collected to add some bamboo block accents. It has a bamboo plank roof up here. It decorated it up, put a couple plants back there. And the whole front is glass so that we can see into it. I think it turned out pretty adorable and it is already pumped out over half a stack again after I just cleared out the entire thing to make those blocks. So I think it's so cute and i think these are so cute and i know i always call everything so cute but i just think it's adorable i love it our little farm section is really filling out as you can see behind me i did go ahead and make that cactus farm pretty much as soon as i said goodbye on the last episode it's just tiny i did actually make it cute though so let me go show you that really quick there are only four cactus in it but i do think it's good to have a little bit we've only gotten seven so far but that's better than zero cactus now this episode, I really need to gather some more resources for my world. I did a ton more villager trading with my villagers and I harvested a bunch of crops and got a ton of emeralds. So I now have enough emeralds to actually make a beacon. I am running very low on diamonds and I would like to get some armor trim on my armor, but I need to be able to actually duplicate the armor trim. Let's make our beacon really quick. It's about time. We'll have to hang something else there. But like I said, I only have seven diamonds in this world and I'm going to need a lot more for duplication, especially if I want all of my tools to be netherite. 
So I've got some empty shulker boxes, I've got a beacon, and let's head down into the mines first and see if we can't get some diamonds. Now I'm just going to hollow out a space to put my beacon really quick and then we'll have to dig up and make a thing for the beacon to shoot through and then we will start mining. We're digging up to the surface, we can turn the beacon on, and I've already found some diamonds! Oh my gosh, and it's more than just two, it's a whole bunch. We've already got 11 just from that, so that's a pretty good start. That was terrifying, but I made my way out of it. Clearly there is a lava pool up there somewhere. Looks like we're safe right there, so I'm going to try and figure out where exactly this lava pool is. We definitely found the lava- oh, I fell immediately. We definitely found the lava pool here. I turn this all to obsidian and I'm just gonna dig it out because I'm not entirely sure where we are going to be coming up in this and I could use the obsidian. Hey guys, I have been digging out this lava pool for a very long time. I have an entire row of stacks of obsidian. I think that's probably more obsidian than I will ever need and I did get down to the part where I was actually building my tunnel up for the beacon so I should now be safe from the lava. I'm going to continue doing my little tunnel for the beacon and I will be right back. Okay guys, we've officially dug the hole all the way up to the surface. Our beacon has lit up and I did bring one of my pink stained glass panes that I got from the ruin that we dug out and I would like to place it right there. And now we have a pink beam for our beacon. We're gonna do haste two and turn it on. Let's grab these really quick. Oh, and there's quite a few of them. Bam, 20 more diamonds already. And there's more, look at that. We literally went like a couple blocks. Up to 30. Oh my goodness, we are hitting the jackpot here, guys. And we actually found gold, which we actually really, really need. And I have a ton of redstone, 51 diamonds, and a bunch of extra blocks. This is great, I was running a little bit low on deep slate and now I have more than enough to keep doing builds. So I'm going to tear down this beacon that we just spent so much time fixing up, but I can always bring it back down here later and I wanna bring it over to the caves over there so that I can get some cobblestone, granite, diorite, andesite, all of that because I definitely need a lot more of that for future builds. And I think this is the cave that we shall use. And fingers crossed, we can actually find a geode. So let me just clear out a section here to put the beacon down so that we can actually get some cobblestone. And then let's go do a little bit of exploring. Okay, for some reason we just got the advancement for bring home the beacon and the beaconator, even though we already did it. But okay. I mean, I'll take it. Now, before we start destroying everything around us, let's do a little caving around here and see if we can find anything interesting. Oh, we found some mobs. They are taken care of. Let me just make a staircase down really quick. Really quick, actually. And let's start exploring. Oh, goodness. Okay, I think that was a spawner that I just saw. I think I saw cobblestone. And there's a lot of skeletons. Oh, that's definitely cobblestone. And let's stop that from spawning. Okay, so we do have another skeleton spawner here. That is awesome. There's a name tag and two whole golden apples. I am pretty sure this is like right below my house. So that's a pretty cool find or at least under my giant field. Now, if only we could find a geode. Oh goodness, this is a big cave. I am scared about that, but we should probably go out and explore it. Oh my God, a geode. You guys, a geode. We finally found one and we are on day 499. We are almost on day 500. I am going to try and safely make my way over there without anything bad happening. No, thank you, sir. And where is your creeper friend? Thank you. We are slowly making our way over there. 
Let me try and pick a couple of these guys off. So we are here. We made it. We finally found a geode. Beautiful. I love it. And we're making some progress clearing these out though so we can start getting some more budding amethyst growing. And that means we can finally put those windows in our creeper farm that I have been talking about for many an episode now. Well, I think that is a great start for now. I am going to take the coordinates for this and that is what they are just in case anybody else is on this seed and hasn't found one of these yet, but you probably all beat me to it. Now I am going to try my best to find my way back out of here safely and there is our beacon. So we actually ended up down there. Okay, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. That should be very easy to get back to that geode. Now it's been a little bit since we've done anything kind of dangerous in this world so I think it's time that we go on another adventure and I'm thinking we should raid a guardian temple. I've seen quite a few of them in the oceans around me and I'm ready to get some prismarine. That and I would really like to see if we can get the armor trim from one of the guardians so we can add that one to our collection as well, especially now that we have diamonds so we can actually duplicate them. So I'm going to get some supplies together and then we'll head out and find one. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to go ahead and make some tinted glass. Let's make 12 of them and I am going to go put them on my creeper farm. Alright, that's looking much better. Much more like an actual building. I also have this looting three book from one of my villagers and I think it's about time we put it on our sword. So let's see how expensive. 21 levels is a lot, but we have more than enough. And now we have looting three finally. Hopefully that will help us out when we're killing the elder guardians and they'll actually drop the armor trim. I'm not sure if looting affects it, but hopefully it does. Now let's see, do I have water breathing? I do have a couple, but I am going to make a few more just to be on the safe side. And I might also make some invisibility potions because I hate getting hit by the guardians over and over. Okay, I've got a ton of potions brewed. I don't really know what else I could need. I might grab some doors from my storage room just in case I need them. Let's head off. I do remember seeing a few out here, so I'm just going to fly around a little bit and we'll see how fast we can come upon one. And we've already come across our first one. We've only been flying for a couple rockets. I'm going to try and get down there before the mining fatigue hits and mine a hole. Perfect. Let's get this on here really quick just so we can make a little bit of a safe spot. Get our potion of invisibility and potion of water breathing. And can they see me when I still have armor on? Can you see me? Oh, you can. I think I'm invisible now. I don't know. I've never actually used potion of invisibility before to raid these. Normally I just go in like crazy, but hopefully they can't see me. Can I shoot you with my bow underwater? I can. And he is gone. Our first one is gone and we got a sponge, but it doesn't look like we got any armor trim from him. That's okay. We have more time. So let's start exploring this place and see what we can find. Here's guy number two. Let's take him out. Okay, number two down. I see a recipe unlocked. Yes! We got tied armor trim, you guys. We got it. And that was only the second guy that we took out. Okay, I thought that it was going to take a lot longer than that. So let's go find guy number three and take him out and make this place our own. Hopefully there is a sponge room and I can start draining out some of the water because I would love to grab a ton of this prismarine block. I am in a real building blocks gathering mode right now because I want to try and make some larger builds, but that means I'm going to need a lot more blocks. There is our last guy. And we have taken him out. Now let's try and make our way out of here, at least until the mining fatigue wears off, and we can start at the top and kind of work our way down. There's the entrance at least. Let's go back to our wonky dirt place over here and our mining fatigue is gone. And let's start clearing some of this out and hopefully on our way we will actually find a sponge room and then I can grab all of those sponges and go to the nether real quick and start actually draining this guy. We also could make a conduit in here and that might be fun to do as well. I'm pretty sure we have all of the things that we need for a conduit, especially now that we actually have prismarine. I think we've gotten a heart of the sea and I think we have enough nautilus shells, but I don't know. 
Oh, okay. It looks like we have uncovered a sponge room and we're not even that far down. That's literally the top right there. It's sponge time. Hopefully there's a ton. Oh yeah. And back in the dangerous nether we are. Over here would probably be a wise place to dry these out since it is the flattest place around. I absolutely love this mechanic. Boom, 36 dry sponges. Someday I should really make this a little bit more friendly and less terrifying, but today is not that day. Hello guys. Okay, and since I got a ridiculous amount of obsidian during the last episode, I think I should take a little bit of it and make another portal over there too once I get the top drained out. And then we can just pop right into the nether and dry out the sponges there instead of coming back every single time. And let's see if I have the means to make a heart of a sea. Ooh, I only have three nautilus shells. Are these my only fishing rods? Because that's not very good. Let's take this one and disenchant it and let's see what we get. Unbreaking three. Let's re-roll that. Unbreaking three again. Let's give it a go. And it's just unbreaking three. What the heck? Layer three, we already have that. Luck of the sea two. I think we will go ahead and take that. And you know what? We may as well unenchant this one since this one has unbreaking three layer two and luck of the sea two and see if we can get something on that that would be good for combining since we still have a couple levels luck of the sea three. Okay, that is actually much better. Now I'm going to unenchant this one and we want unbreaking three now and luck of the sea two. You know what? Good enough. 20 levels to combine those. You know, I think we'll just take this one for now. We can always put mending on it and then we won't even have to worry about unbreaking. Actually, you know what? Un I'm just gonna throw mending on it right now because I have plenty of mending books. Perfect. And you know what? Let's just do a little Minecraft fishing for a minute and see if we can get lucky and get a couple more Nautilus shells because having a conduit would be so cool. Okay guys, we fished for a while and we didn't get a single Nautilus shell. So I think I'm going to do that between episodes because I don't want you guys to be bored with me just fishing away the whole time. So let's take our sponges. I might make a couple more potions of invisibility really quick. Let's get our sponges and let's head back over to the temple. So let's start getting rid of some of this water. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I cleared out this space right here, so let's go ahead and put our nether portal over here. Let's do this. Let's see where it spits us out. Hopefully not above a lava lake. We are safe on an island, and is that our sketchy nether bridge over there? Oh, I believe it is. Okay, so our home portal is literally right there. And let's get trying these sponges out. And that was easy as heck. Let's head back in. Awesome, that is so much more convenient. Now we can finish draining this section over here. And we have the first couple layers empty, which makes operating out of here so much easier. Grab some bricks to make a staircase down. And let's start getting rid of this. Luckily, these small rooms like this are pretty easy to clear out, and then we can hollow out the whole next level. I spent a lot of time clearing out this temple, and I got so much stuff. This whole area is all cleared out, even the big giant rooms and the sides, all of this, and everything down here. Ooh, and we've got some bats. And I did grab the gold blocks from it too, so that's helpful. And I went fishing for a long time, and I did successfully make a conduit, and I used it while I was clearing this out. I also actually made a path in the nether, and it connects to our terrifying bridge that I really need to update and now we can safely get home and like i said i did a lot of fishing so we have a ton of raw fish now in case we need to get cats 
So I'm going to unpack these guys really quick and get them all put away in storage. And then we're going to start working on our project today, which is our last few farms. We're going to do an iron farm, a bee farm, and a sheep farm. Before we get into the farms, let's actually trim up our armor and get it looking a little bit better. I think we're going to go for razor on our helmet. Let's take a look at pants. And I think I am liking spire for the pants. And now boots. I think we are going to do Wayfinder for the boots. Okay, let's take a look. Oh yeah. I think we're looking pretty fancy. Now I think I want to work on the iron farm first, so I am going to get Pixel Rift's iron farm tutorial pulled up and get all of the stuff that I need for it, and then we'll start working on it. I think I have everything for this farm except for the villagers, but I am going to wait just a couple more seconds before I get them and start setting this up and lining out where I want to put it, and then we can do the struggle with the villagers. That's always so much fun. I love that. So I'm thinking this area is a good area for the iron farm. We need a substantial amount of space that we're going to have to spawn proof in order for the iron golems to spawn, and I'm thinking this area looks like a perfect one. So I'm going to start getting the basics of this done before the sun sets and we have to catch a zombie, the part that I'm most scared about. Okay, zombie trap has been set up. I'm going to grab my name tag. Oh, he is trapped. Let's get him named. He's Mr. Scary. I'm also doing redstone, so everyone should be very proud of me. I think this should get this over his head. It did! I have cleared out this space that I now have to spawn proof, so I am going to turn it all into path blocks like he did. That is looking perfect. I think I did the math right. Let's all cross our fingers. Okay, unfortunately for everybody, I think it is villager time now. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh! 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 Get in the boat. You cannot be in here. Sir? Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Why would you do this? No. Okay, okay, this is progress, this is progress. No, no, no. Oh my god. That was way- oh no 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 no. Oh my god, I was about to lose my mind. But they are in there now, and they're not getting out. Ah! Okay, the villagers are in. I threw some carrots at them, and they have a little baby child now who will grow up. Now while he's growing up, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the farm. I think we have done it. I think everything is spawn proof. We've got our three villagers in there, all of our water everywhere. So I think it is time to reveal the zombie. Gotta make sure that we spawn proof these and then let's see if this thing is working. Oh, 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 we've got one. We got an iron golem, oh my God. And it fell right in there. Oh, he's on fire. Oh my god, it's working, and we already have 13 whole iron. So that means we can focus on our other two farms now, and this will be producing iron for us, so we will check back soon and see how much iron we've already gotten. I'm going to refresh and organize my supplies, and I think we are going to work on a bee farm next, which means that we need to go collect some bees. I do have some bees on this tree, they've been here since the beginning of my world, and I've kind of grown attached to them, so I don't really want to move them, I like them being here. So we will go on a little adventure and see if we can't find some other bees around. Total bee location. Now let's get making this cute little bee house. Okay. 
Okay guys, the outside of the build is done. I think it looks so cute. I've never done like a little greenhouse type of thing before with glass on the roof and I think it turned out pretty good. There was a couple bits of trial and error there, so you'll have to let me know what you think of it. Hopefully the roof doesn't look too weird, but let me know. I'm gonna decorate up the inside really quick and get the campfires down and then we will release the bees. And there's all of our little bees, oh my goodness. Okay, since we have done that now, let's go, oh, sir, 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 why are you not falling in? Well, that was moderately, oh no! No, not Mr. Scary. Oh, I wonder where he spawned. Well, I guess we will have to replace Mr. Scary, but let's go at least check how much iron we got while we were doing our bee farm before our zombie was brutally murdered. Oh my goodness. So we have almost five stacks of iron already, and that is just crazy. Well, I guess I'll wait for nighttime now and try and get another zombie, go grab another name tag, get Mr. Scary the second in there, and we still have his bone, so I'm gonna try and throw it at a zombie and see if they'll pick it up so we can at least have some continuity. Would you like this bone? Nope, okay, well then you're not Mr. Scary. Would you like to pick up this bone? Rude. Would you like this bone? You would! Perfect. Mr. Scary the second, I hope that your fate is different than Mr. Scary the first. Good luck. Uh-oh. Sir! No! Not Mr. Scary the second! It's been two seconds! What are you spawning on? Okay, well, before I get Mr. Scary number three, I'm going to let you guys tell me what is going wrong with this farm, and hopefully y'all can help me out, because I don't know what's happening. Anyway, back to getting ready for the sheep farm. Okay, guys, we have every single color of dye, all 16 colors, so we're good to go on that front. I have my observers, my dispensers, some powered rail, all sorts of stuff, and I also have some leads so I can get my sheeps over there. So let's grab these and go start setting it up. I am thinking this spot right here would be perfect for it. And before we let some of these sheeps out, let's get their little cages ready. Okay, so we have the main setup of the farm done now, which means we can drag our sheep in. And then before I actually turn it on, I am going to dye them. And I also need to put the rails in. But first, let's do the hard part and try and finagle some sheep over into these things. Okay, okay, I don't need this many of you. I know you want out of your pen, but please, please stop. Oh my goodness. Thank you. All right, um, I think we have enough sheep. So we're gonna bring these two over first. And the rest of them, once we get 16, um, they might get sacrificed, but you know, that's okay. Alright guys, the wool farm is done. Welcome to Sheer Joy Wool Farm, because all of these sheeps know nothing but sheer joy. This is the inside, I think it turned out pretty cute. And let's take a look at the outside. Honestly, it's kind of one of the weirder things that I've ever built in my Minecraft career, but I like it. It kind of reminds me of like a Quonset hut or something like that. I don't know. I like that it has like a low profile. It's not a huge building. I think it turned out really cute. I put some skylights in the top and yeah, I mean, you'll have to let me know what you think about it. And I do believe this is our entire farm section done. It really filled out the area a lot. I'm going to take a little flight really quick so you guys can see. And let's take a look. I put paths to everything so it's all connected now. And this is our little farming section of the world. It is now day 
558. So that took us around 60 days to build all those farms and that includes finishing out that temple that I was working on. So we're getting closer to day 600 already and I really did not expect those last 60 days to fly by that quickly, but they did. I took some time to finish detailing up the farm area as you can see behind me. I put a little wall all the way around it, added some cute little trees, and I think it looks so good now. It's really come together nicely and we have our little farming district. However, today we are going to be working somewhere much more dangerous. I've been talking about fixing up the nether for a while now, making that bridge a little bit more safe, and I think I'm going to build a little bit of a nether hub. It's not going to be nearly as impressive as some of the nether hubs that I've seen done recently, but I do think we can make a cute little house in our nether so that we'll be a little bit safer when we go in there. So I'm gonna go gather up some good nethery blocks and I'll meet you guys in the nether. Okay, here we are in our super sketchy nether. Hopefully it will be slightly less sketchy by the end of this episode. So I think I'm gonna start clearing some of this land right here and then we can start building our little house. out this corner just a little bit and I think I am going to move this nether portal back into this wall here. I don't need a couple blocks. I don't think it will mess up the connection to my home nether portal but I mean I guess we'll find out. I do have a flint and steel on me thank goodness. I did check that before I broke it but um yeah that would have been a disaster and let's just make sure really quick that it actually does connect just in case. Perfect and we go back in now. Back to making our house. They took down my vines. Um, okay, now I'm in a cave. No, thank you. I think the house is done. It's very blue. It's a little bit more blue than I intended, but I'll show you guys a 360 of it. Okay, so now that we have a super cute little house to actually live in when we're in the nether, we need to work on this path out here. This is fraught with danger to get over to our other little portal and across our sketchy bridge. So we need to make this entire thing a whole bunch safer. Are you taking a little bath there? Are you in a hot tub, bud? That looks dangerous, but I hope you're enjoying yourself. So let's start working on all of this now.
Okay, so this has been terrifying, but I am making progress on my little bridge here. I think it's looking pretty good. It's definitely a lot safer than it was before. Look at this. I do need to put a little staircase up here. This connects up to where we go and explore the rest of our nether and where that nether fortress is. And then this way goes over to this portal. So I need to make this a lot less sketchy as well, but I just wanted to bring you guys in and show you my bridge so far. Okay, I built another little bridge over here. I did run out of lanterns, so there's just torches on it. So I'm not sure how I feel about this bridge. I think it will get its job done. I made this path right here with some barriers in it, just so I don't accidentally fall off. And we go down here to our main bridge, which is much, much, much safer now, you guys. It only took me till day 597. So we are almost to day 600 now, but I do have a nice, relatively safer nether and then we follow this back up with the staircase and go through this little canyon and there is our nether house i am absolutely tired of working in the nether but we did make it much much safer than it was before so today i think we're going to be working on advancements there are a ton of them that i still haven't done some of them are harder than others but I've gathered a few materials and we're gonna try and knock some of these out today. Now, one I really want is the complete catalog and we only have two cats so far. I think this is probably going to take me the most time out of any of them, but I have like three stacks of raw cod, so I'm ready to give it a go. And I did want to mention that I did fix up our iron farm. I did get Mr. Scary the third in there and he is once again scaring the villagers. He's still holding the original bone and we have gotten a ton ton of iron. I am going to grab a couple of glass bottles. I think we need four because then we can get the honey one out of the way and the honey block. But before we do that, let's go see if we can make an iron golem by this village. Boom, hired help. You be good. Sorry I punched you. It was more of like a fist bump. No hard feelings. There's be our guest already done. Speaking of the bees, I am going to go ahead and breed them up. I want the two by two advancement where we breed all of the animals at least once. And there's a baby bee. And I do believe that includes sniffers, which means that Sir Whiffington, who has been chilling over here and being such a good boy. Hello, Sir Whiffington. He finally gets a wife. You know, Bob might be a little jealous, but that's okay. And I do believe it is finally day 600. So we have survived 600 whole days in this world. Okay, now before we do anything else, I think we are going to do the subspace bubble in the nether. Now I'm not sure what the safest way to do this is going to be. So I'm just going to venture over here and see if there's a wall that I can dig into and see how far we can get. Probably right around here. Probably would have helped if I brought obsidian. Let me go grab that really quick and then I will be back. I think 45 obsidian should be more than enough. Oh, we also do need to get the glow advancement. Boom, done. Haha, -ha, I did it. Sticky situation, done. Back to the nether. Oh, there's Piglin. See if I can get him to come over here and be mad at me. Haha, -ha, we have done it. What you gonna give me? Soul sand. Thank you for your participation. Let's go back to our tunnel. Let's keep going. Get our flint and steel and let's see if this works. Oh, okay. Well, it worked. Um, where are we? Oh, okay. We've done it and we are in a spruce forest. And let's do some exploring. Now there are some pigs down here in this village, and I think I'm going to go breed them real quick just to get that. Here, piggy piggies. A baby piggy! There's also some chickens, so we should probably go ahead and breed them real quick. Hello, baby chicken! I think you can breed horses with golden carrots, so we may as well get that out of the way. Ooh, and there's a pillager outpost over there. If they happen to have a crossbow, I could get some of those done. A little baby horse! Oh my god, you are so cute! Okay onwards. 
Perfect, a crossbow and a couple more armor trims. I will take those. Oh, okay. Do I have to kill him? Haha, -ha. I'm getting out of here. And here's a meadow. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Let's grab these things and let's listen to this song. Okay, dance party over. That was fun. And we still have two biomes that we haven't found. I think we'll just kind of meander our way home through the overworld just to see if we can get those last two biomes that we are missing. And who knows, we might see some cool stuff on the way back too. Now, if I see any drowned monuments in the ocean, I am going to look for another sniffer egg so that we can get Sir Whiffington a wife. Oh my gosh, look at this terrain here. Oh, can you breed bunnies? Do they like golden carrots? I think they do. Oh, you're a little baby. Are you an adult? <gasps> a baby bunny! Oh my god, it is so freaking cute. I want to take it with me, but there is no way in heck we would make it. And unfortunately, I do think that I need to take some of them out because I need rabbit to eat. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'll leave you guys. I'm sorry I killed your parents. That was, that was my bad. Oh, we got a rabbit's foot though. Haha! -ha! I did it! Looks like we do have some nice warm ocean here because then we can kill two birds with one stone. We can get some tropical fish and get the tactical fishing advancement, but we can also breed our axolotls. Because I believe you need live tropical fish in order to breed them. Tactical fishing accomplished. Now we will have plenty to feed our axolotls. And now let's see if we can't find Sir Whiffington a friend. Well, I have been searching for another sniffer egg for quite some time now, and so far I have come up empty, but I did run into this bamboo jungle, and I believe there are some pandas over here, so we may as well get some bamboo and breed up some pandas just to tick another one off the list really quick. Perfect, we've got some pandas here. Would you guys like to make a little panda baby? Oh my goodness. You are so adorable! Okay, well, I hope that you enjoy your little panda baby life out here with all of your panda parents. I'm gonna go now. I also did find a buried treasure map, so I might go off and try and find that really quick. And then I think we'll keep heading back home. Maybe we'll find another warm ocean to search through. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Finally! We did it! We've got another sniffer egg. Sir Whiffington will have a wife. Distraction over. Let's go back to finding this treasure map. Diamonds! We're back at our house. We have our sniffer egg. I'm gonna put it on some moss in the sniffer pen with Sir Whiffington and hopefully it will start hatching. And we also got a bunch of other good stuff. So I just ate a couple foods to get my food level a little bit higher. Let's see what we are at now. Balanced diet. So we're at 12 out of 40 now. I had a raw rabbit, a cooked rabbit, and a raw cod. And I also cooked another rabbit so that I can make rabbit stew a little bit later, but I just wanted to keep you updated on that. Now let's see. I think this is one of the advancements to make a pot with four whole sherds. There we go. Careful restoration. Let's put it right there. Adorable. Now let's make a block of copper. Wax on and wax off. Let's just check and see how we're doing. One of these that we haven't been to yet is definitely a mushroom fields and I need to find some mushrooms anyway for the breeding ones so we might go and find those in just a second. But other than that, we are making pretty good progress. Let's just go ahead and get this one done really quick. That one should be easy. Your sniffer egg is cracking. Hopefully it hatches soon. Power of books has been accomplished. Do I understand what that means? No, but I did it. All right, let's take a complete catalog break and go over here just to see if there are any cats that have spawned. You know what? These cats have not appeared yet, so I'm just gonna take some time, harvest my little farms here and replant them and hope that by spending some time over here, oh, also this guy escaped, ignore him. He's not that important. He'll probably go back to bed at some point, who knows? Anyway, I'm just gonna hang out in this general area and hopefully some cats will spawn. I'm just gonna keep eating things, probably a raw potato, because I don't think I've had one of those. 
maybe a carrot, a beetroot. I definitely haven't had a beetroot, but I will try and show you scenes of me actually eating all these foods as I eat them, just so we can keep that advancement moving along. Maybe a melon. Come here, bud, let's go back inside. Good job. Well guys, that took me so much longer than I thought. It is now already day 640. I have been looking for cats for so long and I have 10 out of 11 of them so I am still missing one cat. But I am going to go insane if I have to keep looking for cats so we are going to focus on finding the two last biomes that I have not found yet which are the mushroom field and a mangrove swamp. I couldn't figure out which one it was for so long. I was like, I've been to every single biome. I don't know which one it is. And then I realized that I've never actually been to a mangrove swamp. However, before we do that, Mrs. Whiffington has hatched and grown up in the span that I was looking for cats. So we are going to orchestrate a very quick sniffer wedding. Bob, will you be the witness for us? Thank you. So, Sir Whiffington, hello, Sir Whiffington. So, Sir Whiffington, do you take Mrs. Whiffington to be your lawfully wedded sniffer wife? Till death do you part. I do. Mrs. Whiffington, do you take Sir Whiffington to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Excellent. Then I name you Mrs. Whiffington. So now we have Sir Whiffington and Mrs. Whiffington. And frankly, I think they're going to need a bigger home soon. That is a project for another day, excuse me, Whiffingtons, and I should probably give them a few moments of wedded bliss before they immediately have a child. So let's grab these and off we go. Mushroom Fields is coming into view. Finally, I have been looking all around and this is absolutely not where I would have thought that it was. We are like literally surrounded by icebergs. And there's a mushroom. Are you the only one here, sir? Oh, okay, we do have two mushrooms. Hello guys, I am going to take you home. It's gonna be quite the trek and I'm not really sure how we're gonna get through this part, but let's do this. Oh my gosh, we finally made it home. I'm just going to leave them tied up to the fence near the Whiffingtons for now, and then we will make a home for them soon. I've been wanting to build, but, you know, advancements have taken over my brain. All right, now that they are safe and sound right there, let's go find that mangrove swamp. Okay, well, no mangrove swamp, but I did find this super cool snow village. And there's a cat. And there's another cat, but those are not the cats I need. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna keep searching. I just thought this village was super cool. Ooh, beetroot soup. I will keep that to add to the advancement list for foods. I thought I was gonna have to make it myself, but never mind. Okay, now for real, let's keep searching. Oh, haha. Okay, when I land in here, I should get the advancement. Hee <laughs> hee. I have done it. I have found every single biome in this world. And more importantly, oh my God, I didn't even consider this. There's a camel. Ooh, and a cat. A camel. Sir, you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. The thing is, I don't think I have a saddle on me, but this camel will be mine. While I'm here, I'm going to do a little bit more exploring just around this area, see if there's anything else of note. Maybe there's another camel so we can actually have two. And I am going to collect a lot of this mud because I haven't had mud this entire time. 
All right, I think that that should be a good enough start. At least we know where this is now, so we can always come back and get more if we need to. Anyway, there looks to be a jungle over here, so if we can see a parrot in our spyglass, we will also get that advancement real quick. Ooh, a parrot. Aha! Is it a bird? It's a very cute bird. And you are also very cute. Let's see if I can tame you real quick. Oh my god, that was so easy. We have a new friend, you guys! So I'm gonna get this guy back home and then we'll go and find our last cat. Oh my gosh, we finally got our parrot home. All right, so now we just need one more cat, and I think it's the cat that's all black. We seem to have every other one, and usually those ones are found at witch huts. I know there isn't a witch hut at that swamp over there, so I'm gonna go see if I can find a witch hut and get the last cat, because these cats have been driving me crazy. So wish me luck, y'all. I will be back when I find the last cat. Oh my god, we finally did it. We have the complete catalog. You guys, let me know if you've ever done the complete catalog and how long it took you because that took me so long. Oh my god, but we finally did it. Okay, now we just have to get this guy home. We're like 4,000 blocks away from our home. I mean, we have a witch hut now, which is cool. Anyway, let's try and get you home. Well, we have finally made it back and we have all of our cats, our complete catalog. So now we're just gonna eat a couple of foods and try and wrap up that one final advancement for this episode. So I hope you enjoy this brief food eating montage. Y'all, I would not recommend eating a puffer fish. I don't even know if I've eaten a regular golden apple. I don't think I had. And I know we are going to have to eat this one, but I'm going to save this one for last. All right, you guys. Well, would you believe that I only have two left on a balanced diet. One of them is the enchanted golden apple, but the other one is a chorus fruit. And I thought I could have sworn that I brought back a chorus fruit with me from the end. I have end stone, but I don't have a singular chorus fruit with me. And to be frank, I'm not going to go to the end right now. That seems like way too stressful after everything that I've been through with these guys. So we will finish that up soon. I will go back to the end and I will actually get some chorus fruit. So you know what? Instead, our last advancement will be the goat in a boat. Okay, Jimothy, get in the boat. I am in the boat with you. Whatever floats your goat. We are on day 653. So all of these advancements took me 50 days to complete. It was a long one for sure, but we got so many advancements done. Look at all of these that are filled in. So I would consider it a success. We're going to be doing a lot of building today. It feels like it's been forever since I've built anything and we need to make a house for our mushrooms. Plus I have some other fun projects that I would like to get done. But before we do any of that, these cats need names. First, for our cute little parrot over here, we have Tutti Fruity, we have Ghost, we have Copper, Indigo, Kiki, Socks, Flurry, Star, Mr. Business, Pepsi, Alfredo, Green, Tuna, and cream cheese. These cats are definitely going to need a more permanent home than just sitting in front of my house, although I will probably leave a few dotted around the world to keep the creepers away. But before we do that, I think we're going to focus on these two. Now I think we're going to clear out this spot right here and build a little moosh room house in there, which I will probably do in the form of a time lapse. However, before we do that, we do need to gather some materials, including some mushroom blocks. So I'm gonna fly around the world a little bit, probably go to a dark oak biome, gather a bunch of materials, and then I hope you enjoy the time lapse.
and there we have a house for our little mushrooms. I think it turned out very cute, very mushroom inspired, and I think it fits in this area perfectly. I even went down here and added a couple more details, did some bone mealing, and we have a little path that goes up to their house. So let's fly down here and take a look at it. I absolutely love how it turned out. We've got our mushrooms in here already. I gave them a couple of mushrooms to keep them company. They've got some water. They've got a little mushroom themed bed in here. And yeah, I think it turned out absolutely adorable. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. But I just love that this little animal area is starting to really come together and look complete. So now let's move on to our second building project of the day as we run by all of our cats here. I've already collected up some of the materials for it because we are going to be building a lighthouse. I think this would be a perfect location for a lighthouse. I've already done a little bit of terraforming on it and I'm thinking this area right Right here would be the perfect spot. However, real quick before we actually get into building it, I do need to grab a few of these. Take some of this sand that I gathered when I was going to use TNT to get some ancient debris that I never end up really using very much of, and a whole bunch of this gravel that I have just gathered. We're gonna go ahead and make quite a bit of white dye and Boom, a few stacks of concrete powder, which I am going to turn into concrete. And I hope you enjoy the time lapse. Just after a little bit of finagling with it and a little bit of going back and forth, we have a lighthouse on our rock. I think it turned out pretty good. I got the light design from a channel called Adults Only Minecraft. I'm not sure if he's the one who came up with it originally, but I've used it several times and his tutorial's super quick and straight to the point and it works wonderful. I added in some moss and some leaves to just kind of fit it into the thing since all of this is rock and it's kind of a little boring. So I think this is a beautiful addition to our world and now when we are coming home, either by boat or by flying in we will be able to see this before we see anything else and we'll know that our home is just right over there i could use a break from building for just a second so let's go risk our lives and try and find some chorus fruit let's see if i can remember where my end portal is there it is do y'all think that i actually put water at the bottom of this okay we're here all right let's do this Man, it has been a while since we have been here. And I should probably get some pearls. Now I should probably make an actual staircase here. And we're here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, chorus fruit. That's all we really need. Now let's get the heck out of here. Try not to look at any endermen. And I'm back home. Let's eat some chorus fruit. And now I'm here. One more thing, oh, one of our enchanted golden apples. I'm glad that we still have an extra one so we're not eating our only one. And as soon as I'm hungry, I'll eat it. So I'm gonna gather up a couple building materials for our little lighthouse keeper's hut. And I'll bring you back in when I eat the golden apple and then it's building time again. All right, I slammed into my lighthouse to give myself some hunger. Totally normal thing to do. Let's eat this enchanted golden apple and get this advancement. We've done it! A balanced diet has been accomplished and I am pretty much impervious to anything that could possibly try and kill me right now. For no reason, because I'm just gonna build. But we did it!
All right guys, now our little lighthouse keeper who doesn't actually exist, but maybe we could get a villager over here, has somewhere that he can actually live. I did a diagonal build. I don't build in a diagonal way very often and it was definitely kind of weird to finagle with the roof. I had a couple failed designs that I decided looked terrible, but yeah, let me know how you feel about this one. Let me just give you a quick little fly around. I think it's so adorable. And we are bringing life to more of the world. We're expanding out from our original base just a little bit. And it is now day 697. So we are only three days away from day 700. And the time is flying by. We are officially on day 700. I'm over here by the pumpkin and melon farm. Because I've been doing some trading with my villagers. And I also got a comment recently on an episode that said I should stack up some pumpkins and melons around this farm. Speaking of suggestions, I got so many ideas down in the comments of what to do with the rest of this island and so we are definitely going to be working on finishing this up today but before we get into that there is a lot of stuff in this world that I've just been kind of putting off and avoiding and there are a lot of chores that I need to get done especially in Trash's Diamond Mine which I told you guys a long time ago that I was going to put rails in this and kind of finish off this area since it's still not looking very pretty and I never actually got around to doing it so we're going to be working on that today as well as expanding my storage area because I am absolutely running out of storage. We also need to get some of these cats placed around the world as well as get a little house built for them and I need to clean up this shulker monster that is starting to take over my tiny little home. So I think I'm going to start out by moving some of these cats around. The cats have been positioned and these are the ones that are going to get a little cat house. However, before I can get to building, this storage system is really an issue, so we need to focus on this first. I have been struggling with storage for probably the last 200 days and just not done anything about it, so it is time to expand the storage building. And now our storage room is much more expansive. We have so much storage in here now. Let's take a quick look. First of all, I put in another row of chests on this level right here, and then I extended it two back, and then we have some more chests in here for extra bulk storage. So far, this thing isn't even all the way filled up yet, but we do have stuff back here, and I finally have room for all of my blocks again. Our shulker monster is gone, and these ones are a lot emptier. So now that we have accomplished our first little chore of the day, I think it is time to move on to finishing this mine shaft down here. Guys, there is a skeleton horse here. I might be able to get a skeleton horse if I can be careful. Okay, I should probably take my bow out before I try and do this. There we go. Oh god, don't take out the horses. Okay, that was interesting. We have one horse. There we go. We have some skeleton horses. That's awesome. I didn't know if we were ever going to get any of this world. There's a thunderstorm a little bit ago and I was working down in the mine and it's turning out excellent. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited. These are like my favorite horses. Okay, hopefully your hearts regen. I'm sorry you got lit on fire for a second there. All right, Ginger Snap, you have some new friends. Well, that was a fun little distraction. I'm going to head back into the mine now. It's almost done and then I will show you guys what I have accomplished. I've gotten a little too invested in this project because it is now day 728, but I'm very excited with how it's coming along so far.
And now the mine is done. Trash's diamond mine has been finished. So let's just do a quick tour of it. I will ride down on this minecart in just a second, but let me show you the top here before we're flying down. We got some beams going across. I raised the ceiling a little bit with stairs. We've got some glow berries and I put these little alcoves with some lanterns in it so that the whole thing is all lit up and nothing can spawn here. So let's just take a little ride down into the mine. And then I did decorate this little room too. This is where we had our beacon and I just got some of our essentials here. We have an infinite water pool that I did dig down to this bedrock over here. I think that that looks kind of cool. We've got some extra storage over here. We have our little stone cutter and yeah. So let me know what you guys think of it. I even left the little glass pane from the beacon and hung a lantern from it. I think that looks super cute. And then let me show you my favorite part, which is kind of hard to see when you're just going down through it. But I did these little cutouts and I put all of the cave biomes in them. So this one is our deep dark biome. I ventured down into a deep dark cave to get some of these with silk touch and I did accidentally set off a shrieker. You'll probably see that in the editing, but I did set off a shrieker one time and I have the shrieker. I silk touched it and I took it, but every time I rode down here and went by it, it screamed and that wasn't very chill and cool. And then over here, we have our little lush cave biome with our glow berries and our drip leaf and whatnot. I think that that turned out really cute. And then up here, we have a little dripstone cave biome. So I thought this was a really fun way to integrate some little mini biomes into this. There were already open spaces where the cave was above here. And instead of just filling that all in, I decided some little mini biomes would look cute. So now to celebrate having this mine shaft, I'm going to do a little bit of mining, see if I can get some more resources. I did use a lot of redstone for the rails, so I'm running a little low on that. And then getting a few more diamonds is always good. I'll probably go heal up my tools really quick get my zombie spawner so let's just ride this back up here and wish me luck mining Alright guys, I am done mining and these are all of the ores that I have collected. I also found a spawner and a minecart chest so I got some other assorted goodies and I did find an amethyst geode down here. I put some amethyst blocks around it to mark which tunnel it's down and spent some time collecting some calcite and amethyst. So I'm going to grab up all of these ores and then we will bring them up to the surface and do some fortuning. The fortuning is complete. Now let's see what we've got. We have a ton of redstone now, so we won't have to worry about that. A little bit of iron, a little bit of copper, almost three entire stacks of gold, which is excellent. A bunch of lapis, and we have almost two entire stacks of diamond, which I had less than a stack of diamond ore, so this is amazing. And now we can actually duplicate more trims, maybe get some more netherite items, which I'm thinking about doing very soon because these diamond tools, they could be a little fancier than they are. But overall, I think that was an excellent mining session and it was fun to just relax and mine for a while. So I'll get all of these put away and then I think it's time that we move on to the cat's house. Well guys, we officially have a house for our little kitty cats. I know that they probably want to attack this rabbit right here, but they can't. I think it turned out very adorable. I really wanted to lean into the pink theme for some reason. I feel like it's been a while since we've used any cherry wood. So overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I have my little kitties sitting up here. They do kind of float above, I guess because it's a carpet on a fence post. If there's any way for them to not do that, please let me know because it's kind of funky, but I mean, I wanted them to be on their little cat trees. We've got Kiki guarding the front entrance. 
there are no dogs allowed. And then we've got Copper, Romeo, and Tuna inside. They've got some more fish. I thought these looked like little feeding bowls for them. They've got some nice little petals and I think it turned out very cute. So let's go ahead and close those doors up and move on to our final project of this episode. It is now day 768 already. So we are getting closer and closer to day 800. I did not think this episode was going to take quite so many days, but we have been doing all sorts of stuff. Oh, and I probably also put in a time lapse of me finishing out this area down here. At first it was a sunflower field, but the yellow looked kind of garish with everything else when it was all those sunflowers. So I did a mix of some purple flowers and I also put in a couple more paths, some staircases between the farms and the path leads all the way down over here where it connects up to our farming area. This area has been bothering me for a long time because there was still a bunch of empty space and I didn't want to build anything so I really like this little flower field and the area is looking so much more complete now but enough about that we have a little fisherman's island to finish over here and before we can accomplish that, I do need to go out to the coral reef and get a couple coral fans and other random bits because someone suggested that I make tide pools over there and I absolutely love that idea. I think that would be perfect. So I'm gonna head over to the coral reef, get all my building materials together, and then let's finish off this island. Well guys, I have gone completely crazy building on this island because it is now day 800. So let me show you around and show you what I have done. First of all, we have this nice bridge that connects us to the mainland now. I might have to do a path up there, but that is for a future project. I added in paths all around the island. This is our lighthouse area. I put up a couple different market stalls with some goods that people are selling. I've got one over here selling fish. We have a little aquarium with some tropical fish floating around. We've got this house right here that I actually did do a bit of an interior in, a little place to sit, which comes out to this dock over here. Got another little house over here and then a third over here. They've got a little flower garden around back. There is another dock down here with a little path. This one's kind of broken down and falling apart. Not quite as fancy, but still useful for fishing off of. We've got some farms scattered around so people can have food. And we have our fourth house down here, which has a little bit of a balcony overlooking at the water. And probably my favorite part of the whole island are these tide pools down here. I think that they turned out fantastic. I had so much fun detailing them. I think they turned out really nice. So you'll have to let me know what you think about them. And then I will throw in this other dock over here. I just kind of ran out of time because it was day 800 and I wanted to update you guys before that day passed. I spent a couple days just finishing out this island, adding some trees and some more bushes. I finished the dock over there behind me. So I feel like it's looking much more complete now and I'm very happy with how it turned out. It is now day 816 already. And to start out this episode, I think we're just going to do a little bit of fishing. Since I made this entire island as a fishing island, I should probably do some fishing on it. We already got one. A salmon.
Alright guys, we have spent a couple of days fishing. It was very relaxing and nice. So let's head back across the island here and I have another task that I need to complete. So let's go get that done right now. We've got Mushu right here. And then over here we have Fun Guy. And then we have to get these guys over here their names as well. So first of all, we've got Bonesy Jones. And then over here we have Roger McRibs. Now to get onto the more pressing tasks of today's episode, we need to get some more netherite. These diamond tools have gotten me through a lot, but I think it's time for an upgrade. Luckily this time I have a ton of gunpowder and a ton of sand, so I'm going to make some TNT. We're going to make our way back over to where we were mining for netherite in the nether before, which is over by that piglin bastion. Maybe we'll be a little bit braver this time and see if there's anything else in there we can find, but let's go get some netherite. I can't find where the heck I went and searched for netherite the first time and this is very dangerous and scary so I'm going to try and skedaddle back to where the path is and we're going to find a different place to dig down because this is a little too much. We're backwards moderately safer anyway and it looks like there is a lava lake here but I'm hoping we can dig down this way and get away from it. It looks like we are on level 17. That seems like the perfect place to start digging a tunnel, laying down some TNT and everybody cross your fingers for me and hope that I get some ancient debris. Let's do this! I've been down here for days and days. It is now day 829, but I have 29 ancient debris. So I would say that's a pretty dang good haul of ancient debris. I did use up all my TNT, but I went over to my wool farm and grabbed some wool to make beds. And then we exploded quite a few beds as well. This entire area is absolutely destroyed, but we've got our ancient debris. So I'm going to try and get the heck out of here. It's kind of a maze, so hopefully I won't get too lost. So wish me luck getting out of here and I I will meet you guys back in my safe home. And while I'm waiting for that to all smelt up, I did get a bunch of other stuff in the nether as well, including an absolute ton of quartz and a bunch of gold. So I'm also going to smelt this down and turn this into ingots so that we will have plenty of gold to make our netherite. So that amount of ancient debris got us seven entire netherite ingots and we still have one little netherite scrap left over. Now I think I have everything here I need to get some more upgrades, so let's make a couple of those and use up all of my diamonds as per usual. Alright, that should do it and we actually still do have quite a few diamonds left over, thank goodness, because I was a little worried I was going to burn through every single diamond that I mined last episode and let's get this one back in here just for safekeeping so we don't accidentally use it. And let's head over to our enchanting tower and get these tools upgraded. Let's go ahead and get this in there and boom netherite pickaxe. Let's get our silk touch one done. Let's get a netherite sword. Netherite hoe. Heck yeah serious dedication. That scared me. I kind of forgot that that happened. Netherite shovel and a netherite axe. And we still have one netherite ingot left over. I'm not really sure what I'll use it for, but it's nice to have it. And look at all of these tools, guys. We have an entire set of netherite tools, and I'm so excited. Even a netherite hoe. I feel like this is such a huge accomplishment in a world. I've never done it before, and I am just so proud of myself that I actually have an entire set. And it only took us like 850 days or so to do that. But look at us. We are so powerful. I'm going to head down to my zombie spawner really quick and get my tools all healed up and then there is one more thing that I would like to focus on today and that has to do with these villagers over here. I need to level the rest of my villagers up to master level, specifically the librarians and the masons. Because a long, long time ago, I said that I would make a building around this zombie spawner right here, and I have never gotten around to it. However, I have been planning to put something up here for quite a while, and I would love to get it done before we hit day 1000, which means I need to get my button gear because this project is big, and it might take me 150 days to complete it. Yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Sheep. How are you doing? 
But before I can start this project, there are definitely some things that I'm going to need in large quantities, but that's all I'm going to say about this project for now, so let's get our tools healed up, and then let's head over to the village and get some trading done. <laughs> Well guys, I have spent many a day leveling all of these villagers up and I'm happy to say that every single villager in here is now at master level. And I am on day 851 already. But we have leveled up every single one of our librarians, so most of them are trading glass and lanterns now. They've all got the little diamonds on their belts. All of our Fletchers, all of our farmers, all of our clerics and all of our stone masons and I even added one more stone mason so that we have four whole stone masons. They are all trading quartz now and we have some other fun blocks that they're trading as well so that's really nice to have a whole bunch of those. And I have begun the process of stockpiling a ton of quartz blocks. I'll probably smelt them down so that they're smooth quartz. So that's wonderful because I am going to need a ton of quartz next episode. Now between episodes I might spend a couple days just kind of detailing up this path here and adding a couple more tiny details to the world before we get started on our big mountain project. It is now day 871. So I spent the last 20 days in between episodes detailing out a path from our fishing village up this hill over here. We've got it nicely decorated with some bushes and some lamp posts. And it pops out over here by the farming area where we can go down through here, around all of our farms, up past our main base area, back down through where all of the animals are, and I made this cute little doghouse for our dogs. Then we can go back over here where we detailed this out. We have a cute little pond, and then we can take this path all the way up to our village area where I threw in another farm and then we can get to the village. So Bonzi Jones and I are absolutely loving how all the detailing turned out, but now I think it is time for us to work on our big mountain project, which as some of you may have guessed is going to be a castle. I've never built a castle in survival Minecraft before, but I have given myself 130 days to get it done before day 1000. So without further ado, I'm gonna put Bonesy Jones back in his stable and then let's get working on this castle. Now I do have a vague idea of what I want the castle to look like, but I have not really mocked it up in creative or anything like that because I would really like to see what I can do just kind of winging it. I know I want it on this location on the mountain so we can see it from our starter house and it kind of towers over our entire base. Now you may be thinking that this castle is going to be for me to live in, but I am far from the most important thing in this world, so I'm actually building this castle specifically for Sir Whiffington and Mrs. Whiffington. Now I have been dropping hints for a while that they need something bigger to live in and I think that they deserve nothing less than a castle. Now before I can start laying the foundations of said castle, we are going to need to do just a little bit of terraforming, so let's get into that right now. Well guys, I am back and I have terraformed this area quite a bit, but I also went and gathered an absolute ton of calcite because I'm going to be using that block a lot in the castle, and then while I was on the stony peaks, I got so much coal ore. So I'm going to fortune it real quick and then set up a quick auto smelter in this area so that I can start smelting down some of the quartz that I have been trading. And then I'm going to dip into the nether really quick because we need to gather up a ton of warped wood. And once we get that done, it's time to start laying out the foundation of this build. Alright guys, I'm back from the nether. I have my auto smelter set up and it's churning away at the quartz. 
I've been continuing to do some trading and I have gathered a ton of materials. This is everything I got from the nether. I have a ton of calcite and then I went and grabbed a few stone type blocks because I'm thinking I would like to add a little bit of a retaining wall around this area right here. Maybe the retaining wall will go around here or we will find another way to cover this up but I think that's what I want to get working on now before I lay the foundation just so I can see the overall flat space I'm going to have here. So let's go ahead and get that done. So I got the retaining wall in, I fixed the entrance to the zombie spawners, and I have laid out a foundation for our castle. And just in time, because it is officially day 900, which means that we have 100 days to finish building this castle. The retaining wall also gave us a lot of additional space to build the castle foundations on, so I have kind of spread out a rough idea of what I want it to look like. We've got a couple towers back here, some extra buildings over on this side, tower, main entrance right in the front three more towers over here and another building over here and then I think that this is all going to be a courtyard area and then I'm thinking over in this area we are going to have our path that will wind down the side of the mountain and connect back up to that one but that is for after we get this castle in probably be the last thing that we do so I'm getting pretty excited about this I really like the layout that we have and so without further ado I'm going to start building up all of these walls I'm just going to do it in plain calcite at first and just get the rough shape in and then I'll probably go in and do some texturing then I can add some roofs and then we will move on to detailing. Okay guys, the base of the castle has been built up. I got all of the roofs in. I really like how they turned out. They're all very detailed, much more detailed than I would normally do, but I'm really liking how this style is turning out so far. And we are officially on day 943, which means we've only got a little over 50 days to get the rest of this castle done, and there is still a lot of detailing I need to get in. So it's time to start working on the windows and adding some detailing around there, but I also would like to detail up these walls, get a little bit of a walkway with probably some spruce to kind of stand out against all of this white. So we're making pretty good progress overall. I mean, we definitely do have a castle, but let's get into the detailing. And we have a castle, guys. I spent a ton of time detailing everything up and getting it all finished. I even made some custom banners that are hanging right there behind me, and I like how those turned out. There are definitely some things that I would do differently next time, but overall, it was a very fun experiment, and I really like how it turned out. And it is now 
day 970. It's day 970, guys. We only have 30 days left till day 1000, and I still need to get a path in here and bring the Whiffingtons up to their new home. And then I have something to show you on the inside of the castle that I probably should have done hundreds and hundreds of days ago because I kind of completely forgot that we even had it and that we needed somewhere to put it. But we finally have a place for the dragon egg. I wanted to incorporate it in this castle somehow, so putting it here on its own little pedestal in this fountain I think is perfect. But yeah, it only took me 970 days to finally put this somewhere in the world. It's just been sitting in one of my shulker boxes in storage forever. We have a little staircase right here that I just went up so we can look out over all of our land. We can survey the villagers. We've got a lot of little buildings in here that all definitely have interiors. If you were to look inside them, they um, totally do. Totally. And yeah, overall, I am super happy with how this turned out, but you guys will have to let me know what would you have done differently if you could change anything? Are there too many glow berries? Are there too many leaves? Are there not enough towers? Let me know what you think about it. This was quite the undertaking. I definitely underestimated how long it would take, so I'm glad I left us so many days to work on it, but it was a big project. Probably the biggest project that I have ever done in Minecraft. Let me fly down real quick just so I can show you what it looks like from our house, because I absolutely love it. This is what I have been picturing ever since I got this seed and saw this giant mountains right here. I knew that a castle needed to be somewhere by these mountains, but we are not done yet. I still have to make a staircase up here to get the Whiffingtons into their new home. Well guys, the Whiffingtons are in their new home. I dragged them all the way from over there up into this castle and so far they are absolutely loving it. There is just enough dirt on the ground that they can still like do their little snuffling thing and get some seeds. And I'm so happy that they finally have a castle that is actually fitting of their status in this world. I think they deserve it. And I'm also very happy to announce it is day 999. And I have a little bit of a surprise planned for when it gets just a little bit darker, which is what I have been doing because you might have been thinking trash it did not take you like 25 days just to make that path down the mountain you're right it did not i was doing some other things some things that took a little bit longer than i would like to admit but i can't wait to show you them but before we do that i think it is finally time to actually have mrs whiffington and sir whiffington have a child so come here and make a baby and there is a sniffer egg for us and then soon this will turn into a little baby Whiffington, a Whifflet. So we just have to wait a little bit longer for the sun to start going down. And then I have one last surprise for you guys for this thousand days in our hardcore world. It would start raining on day 999 as the sun is going down. Okay, uh, that puts a tiny hitch in my plans. I'm gonna sleep through this night and then we will do the surprise on day 1000. All right, guys, the sun is coming up on day 1000. I'm just going to let the sun cycle through this day. And then when it sets, it better not not freaking rain and then I have a surprise to show you and now that the Sun is finally going down on day 1000 let's try this again enjoy Oh my gosh, and on day 1001, we have a little baby snifflet. Welcome to the family. Please don't go back there because if you grow up big, I don't want you to suffocate. So please come over here. Okay, good snifflet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise. That's the first time I've ever tried to set up a fireworks show. I think there's probably some things that I would try and do differently next time, but I really like how it turned out. I did have to go into the nether for a long time and try and get a wither skeleton head so that I could make the creeper face fireworks, but it was worth it. I'll insert a clip of me doing that now. I just didn't want to show you guys before because that might spoil the whole surprise. Well, that's it, you guys. That was a thousand days in hardcore Minecraft. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!